Oh yeah, of course, you know? You know what, Jared, I'm looking in the camera and this, yeah. our balcony looks a little different. It looks different, what's, huh? What's up with this? What in the world? Like, Wait a second. Our chairs are different? Our chairs, are, we, our glass doors are different? Yeah, it's what? a lot like brighter more. Wait, what? We're on a cruise! Guys, this was a massive surprise in the making that we try to keep super close oh, to the best. Oh my gosh. We did it. You know we did it. You know how hard that is because you know how much we absolutely love cruising. Seriously, I cannot believe we are back on our cruise oh right now. Oh my gosh. And this one, you guys, is taking off from our hometown, yes, Fort Lauderdale. Right here in Fort Lauderdale, you guys. Look at this view right here. It's like <laughs> 10 minutes to get yeah. here, 15 minute car ride. So I think we can see our building from here, actually. Oh, That's the funny thing. You literally can. That is hilarious. That's yes. our building right that there. Is pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, this is our third <laughs> huge surprise we have been holding out on you. I want to know did any of you guess this? Yeah. Are you right? Did you have any information? We are getting on a cruise ship right now. This is so freaking awesome. <laughs> this is so much fun. I want to know also who is ready for cruise Jared? That's the yeah. best type of Jared is cruise Jared. Oh my gosh. He should be the cruise director in the life of the party. We actually just saw the celebrity cruise line. Take off. Yes, it it's out so there cool. right now. Oh, it's so cool. So cool. <laughs> I'm sure you are wondering, okay, so you guys are on a cruise. Where are Michelle and Nate and Nora? Where is Brittany's parents? So let us just tell you how all this unfolded because we did not expect to be on a cruise right now. <laughs> so when we were over in Puerto Rico, as you guys know, Nate got some awesome news that he actually just got a new job. We are so stoked for Nate. He's worked so hard. We have been talking with them about doing a vacation for quite a a while. Oh, a long time now. Yes, and we were flying later on, more in like the fall or around Christmas time. But they were like, hey, listen, they ain't got this new job. He has about a week, a little over <laughs> a week of time between the two jobs. <laughs> so we want to do something awesome. We were kind of in the works of planning some different cruises and things like that, but not one this early. No. So we looked up cruises and there were some that worked in the dates. And of course, we were back on Royal Caribbean, you guys, are absolutely <laughs> favorite if you guys have seen our cruise videos previously you know how much we love this cruise line but we are on a new ship this time oh yeah we'll tell you all about stay tuned stay we're tuned we're also going to keep secret what stops we are going to really fun. that's how it all kind of went down so we were out for the river we're like okay let's book this but michelle and nate of course they have sweet little nora yes and my parents are planning a trip actually out to new york so we thought hey instead of going to new york why don't we have them come to florida they can <laughs> Spend time with Nora because I'm never going to see Nora yeah. at all. So they're watching Sweet Nora and our little Finley, you guys. And then when we get back from our cruise, we get to spend the next five days with them. Guys, how awesome is that? So you guys, the timing of everything just kind of <laughs> fell into place. And seriously, seriously, we can't thank my sweet parents enough for not only watching Nora, but our sweet little fitters, you guys. And they're oh my super gosh, seriously. as well to be here in Florida. And then we are gonna have so much fun with them. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. This is gonna be like a little couple strip with us and Nate and Michelle, and this is their first time ever on a cruise. Guys, their first time ever, and we captured it right when we walked up this morning. It was awesome. vacation and I can hardly wait. We're going on a cruise ship and we're getting a game a lot of weight. <laughs> this is your very first time seeing a cruise ship. This is the gangway baby. So That's it right there. It up. First time on the gangway. <laughs> oh my gosh that's it right in front of us. <laughs> How was it so far just being here? It's amazing. How does it so feel? Cool. To all the first time cruisers out there. I feel like it's like Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, there's so much going on. <laughs> Guys, there is so much to see. It is so high, so tall. 
It is unbelievable in here. There's people everywhere. <laughs> people are already, like restaurants. And Okay guys, got all checked in, ready to go. The first thing you wanna do when you get on a cruise ship, you don't like your dining time, go straight to my time dining, ask to get it changed, and then once you're able to go get it done, you come here to your safety check, because you have two hours to do that. Here's something we've never shown before, you guys, the ice skating rink. Well, good thing I brought my skates. I've never seen an ice show. <laughs> in here. Absolutely. It is colder for sure. Really it is actually quite a bit colder in here. We're supposed to be huge, so. Oh, that's good. So Perfect. We won't be Then we got checked into our rooms, got our bags, then we went over to Michelle and Nate's room and got their reaction too. Ready to see your room? Yeah. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, are you this is actually way bigger than Yeah, it's house. way bigger than you Dude. think, huh? It's yeah. pretty big. This is spicy, alright. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh Come on! Oh my gosh! Look at our face. Oh. You guys. I feel like we're just literally on the Titanic. Actually. I can't even describe it. It's just so cool. This guys, is so exciting. This is guys. epic. This is so epic. We're just getting left yet. Yeah, it's once you get out there. This is such a gorgeous view. It's oh my gosh, it's so cool, guys. <laughs> I just love that we are back on a cruise right now. Just three months ago, we are on the Symphony of the Seas. As you guys remember, it was seriously so much fun, so beautiful. We took out of Miami. Here we are taking out of Fort Lauderdale. We literally live 10 minutes that way. This is awesome. You guys, we cannot wait for this next week ahead with all of you. I know you how much you guys loved our cruise videos previously, so Get ready for round two, you guys. New ship, new destination. Michelle and Nate are here, and it's gonna be really cool because I know a lot of you guys have never taken a cruise, so we're gonna get their perspective on being first oh, time yeah. cruisers, getting their reactions on everything. <laughs> we start with a little room tour. Yes. We got a balcony that's a little bit extended. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. It is really cool. We have a little bit more space. We have a table, two chairs. We're so excited. We're thinking. We'll guys, we did not Nate. have this last time. Yeah, we're thinking we're going to go over Michelle Nate's chair. I know. Like we could actually fit everyone here. Yeah. This is awesome. So, so fun. Come on in. Yeah, let's go on inside. Let's come on, walk on Oh in. my gosh. Yeah, door. seriously. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, guys, look at this. This is going to be our place for the next eight nights. We have an awesome little seating area, couch. You like that action? Yeah, and then this is a little bit different from our last one. Yes. There's like a mirror here. And Jared can do all this editing here. Oh, which is perfect. Great. Way more outlets than my, our last cruise. Yeah, lots of outlets, cupboard space. You can see here the TV's here. Our last cruise yeah. TV is, was across from the bed as well. And then also you have little mini fridge in here, more storage space, which is great. Over here we have our queen size bed. <laughs> which is awesome. Oh my gosh. So comfy. Oh, oh so gosh. so comfortable. And Britt, you're going to love the couch. Yes, I cannot. You're wait gonna love to it. And I cannot wait to sleep right here. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> I'm not gonna sleep out on the balcony. <laughs> that balcony is huge. It's awesome. It is so cool. I so love it. So if you happen to be new to our channel, we've always cruised within interiors until our last cruise. <laughs> yes. And I don't think we'll ever go back to it. Oh here. my gosh. We love the balconies. It's just, it's, it makes the experience for us. Like it's so, so cool. Speaking of cool you guys, last time we were on a cruise, we gave away three cruises yes. to three lucky people. And we've never even talking about it. We want to do something kind of similar. This time around, it'd be awesome to do something <laughs> similar. However, yeah. we're going to change it up how you enter. Yes. And so we thought it'd be great to do little things throughout our video. So make sure you pay extra close attention. Ooh. All, that's all I'll say right now. <laughs> make sure you guys are subscribed. If you're not, if you guys are watching this for the very first time, welcome to our channel. We do a lot of really fun stuff here. Welcome on board. <laughs> wow, that's what we should say. You know, I'm going to start our videos. Welcome on board. 
aboard, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, really Welcome good. aboard. Welcome aboard. Board. They have a nice full-length mirror right here. Yes. It's very lovely. So very Gary lovely. Is very tall, lanky self. I was going to say his really fun cruise attire that he planned. Oh, thank you. Stay tuned for that. Yes. And yes, Jared brought his white outfit. Yes, you guys are going to see it first. Yes, I'll let Jared go in the bathroom and show you. Nice size bathroom storage. Yeah, look at that. Perfect size bathroom. That is plenty. Hey guys. Also, picking up some JB swag. If you guys are interested in picking this up, I will put it on our website, jaredbrit.com. We got tons of really cool swag over there and lots of back to school items as well, plus a collection with everything under $20. Babe, this is pretty dope. I'm guys, liking it. I'm so excited. Seriously, Royal Caribbean just does it right. We absolutely <laughs> love it here. Speaking of cruises, uh, yeah. the ship's about to take off in the next 20 minutes. Let's go see it. So we're gonna go get Nate Michelle and head up to the top. Go get the burgers. <laughs> Ahoy matey! Ahoy matey! <laughs> oh, 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 welcome going? aboard! Wow. You know what they say when the ships are rocking. Whoa! Kidless sweet. Kidless. So we want to know what are your initial thoughts on the room? Is it what you thought? No, it's thought. bigger than I thought. Well, it's better than awesome. I thought. That's so re remember, you guys, these two are first time cruises. Yeah, this is their first cruise ship ever. Never. Never. And ever. I would say, like, New York Manhattan hotels are smaller than this. Yes, honestly, really? some of them, yeah. I don't know, it depends on the room, but yeah. Yeah, so we're doing it, it's good. That's awesome. Feels bougie. Yeah, they're all Feels bougie. <laughs> they got all their clothes. Wow, your lay matches that artwork perfectly. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You see your closet? Yeah, okay. yeah. check out their closet thing. Wow. They're all nice, moved Look in. At it. And with this being your guys' first cruise, what do you think about the balcony room? Oh it's amazing. Gosh. We don't know any different, but yeah. we're so glad we have a balcony. I was blown away. I was just imagining like a little circle this big, like a little window, you know, you could like look out. Like it's a separate, like, yeah. this amazing balcony. Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh, it's, it's huge. It's so big, so you guys can come over and we can play know. games. Yeah, over. it's huge. Yes, you guys. So this is going to be awesome. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for tonight. Your guys' first sunset at... Oh my so gosh. Incredible. <laughs> we were sitting on the bed and I was like, we can just take a nap and wake up and look out at the ocean. Oh yeah. My gosh. Seriously. Guys, they have not seen so much of this ship. So we're going to head up to the deck, I think, first. Yeah. And yeah. First time on the glass <laughs> elevator. <laughs> We've been waving to us. Know, yeah. What's up, friends? On the deck right now, we're on deck 16, walking around. We are pushing off. This is the coolest feeling in the world this right is when now. Everyone comes out, they line the oh rain. my gosh! Look like how many people are. Off. They are everywhere right now. This is incredible to be able to see everything like this. I still cannot believe how massive these boats are. Basketball courts right here, you guys. They also do pickleball. You oh guys. Pickleball my gosh! So fun. I think Nate's got to do some pickleball. We got some mini golf right here. I know who's doing the zipline though. Ooh. We didn't do it on last I know we did not do the zipline last time. Right here, you guys, we got the flow rider. We've gone jet skiing down here with cruise ships. It was so cool. <laughs> Brittany right now is showing them our apartment. We can actually see our apartment, you guys. It's right there. Oh my gosh. Look at some of these homes down here. They are incredible how massive they are. So Brett, I don't know if you remember, but on our very first cruise as a couple it was for our honeymoon. We actually took it out of Fort Lauderdale. So literally what we're doing right this second, we took off from over here and we stayed at this little place right here. This used to be a Pier 66. They're renovating it right now. It is so cool. So nostalgic, you guys. It's crazy we're back. Leaving out of Fort Lauderdale, not only that, but we live here now. Yes, how crazy. And I love that everyone's waving. Yeah, one of the best parts is waving like those people down there. <laughs> What's up, guys? Subscribe to Jared and Britt. Oh, I see the water. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. That is just so pretty right there. I cannot believe that we are taking off literally from our hometown. If you guys are not following us over on Instagram, go check us out right now. Brittany is getting tons of really cool behind the scene moments, especially with Shell and Nate with this being their very first cruise.
feel like you're on a cruise now, huh? <laughs> so I was telling these guys that cruise ships actually travel in packs for safety reasons and I don't know if you can see off in the horizon there but there are one two three four cruises going out right now actually I count a fifth one Let's practice that one more time never let go perfect <laughs> Michelle and Nate watched Titanic in preparation for the cruise they were a little nervous yeah it's a, checking out the lifeboats we, they got we, on they made a few modifications since the Titanic. So downtown this way, you guys, this is like Sunny Isles area, and then way, way down there, that's Miami. That's actually where we departed from on our last cruise three months ago. You can kind of see the cruise ships coming out of Miami. They're going this direction. Jared, of course, got us an awesome sea, yeah, yeah. corner yeah, sea right so here. Awesome. Look at all the cruise ships. Look at that. Camera, man. There so so many yeah, you can see there. the cruise ship out there a little bit. This is incredible. This is our very first time sitting here eating some like pre-dinner and looking at another cruise ship taking off from Miami, probably on its way to Coco Cay. So this cool. is just incredible. Look at that. If you guys aren't following Michelle and Nate, go check them out at City Burgers. They're gonna be getting a lot of really cool behind the scenes. Well guys, this is a first for us. We are now just kind of chilling looking at the sunset, chilling these chairs right here, and there is nothing but water around us. Not The land is gone. This is awesome, you guys. The breeze is hitting us. We're literally looking at the sunset right now. What do you guys think? Are you in vacation mode? We're in heaven. We're loving Woo! it. I've never been so relaxed. Michelle said she's never been so relaxed. Seriously, with that sun, the breeze, it's you hear like the fountains in the background, the water, oh, heaven. Yeah, I've said it once before. If you guys have never done a cruise before, you gotta do it. There's so much fun. Really quick, <laughs> let me just say this. Michelle just said, Jared came over, he's bringing us like soft serve dancing. And Michelle's like, Jared is in his element. Yeah. Like, I love cruise, Jared. Check that out. <laughs> That is so cool! Oh my gosh. Just enjoying that sunset. You! How are you liking it, dude? It's gorgeous. It's literally <laughs> like breathtakingly beautiful. It's so awesome. This is rad, man. This is seriously so much fun. Is so blue. The, oh, yeah. It's so cool looking out from like 20 stories up. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty breathtaking. Michelle's first time looking off the oh. side there. Oh. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? The water Isn't it is awesome? Like, I was water, trying to tell you. The water is like the it's like most beautiful so blue. Oh, it's like a deep, blue. rich blue. It's unreal how yeah. blue it is. I like that, a deep, rich blue. Yeah. A vibrant blue. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> Seeing their reactions <laughs> so of them fun. seeing it for the first time is so much fun. It just makes it more fun. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Very romantic. <laughs> I forget, you know, because like for us, like we've seen it a few times before, but this is your guys' first time. So beautiful. It is so beautiful. Look, how fun the lights Look at that. On, on the park. Oh my god. Look at the back of the ship over here. It is just gorgeous. This is just so dreamy to be able to look at this at Central Park, right in the middle of the ship. They're playing live music. <laughs> playing live music. Car down there in Central Park. <laughs> you guys feel like you haven't even left the city yet. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, we decided to freshen up real quick before dinner. <laughs> Check this out. There's Nate. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. <laughs> Look at that. What? I just asked them if it feels like they're on a ship or does it feel more like a hotel? It's funny you asked Brittany. I was literally just thinking, it's I can't like believe 
but then we're out in the middle of the ocean right now. <laughs> it feels it's like so a full-on resort, huh? Yeah, a yeah. total resort. <laughs> we have crickets because there's even birds in here. Yeah. Are those real life crickets? I don't know if those are live. I think that's a sound machine, but they do have birds. <laughs> they do have birds. We proved that on our last cruise. This is the exact same menu as when we were barely on a cruise. I see a few things that are different. It'll be interesting to see <laughs> as we go through the week if it's changing or kind of how it is. But we are so excited. This time they have physical menu. Last time we really did cool. use our phone. What are you guys thinking? Uh, I think I'm gonna, I don't even know what to get because I'm gonna get like two of everything. <laughs> Nate just barely asked, wait, so I can order anything? <laughs> it seems wrong. Yeah. You guys, so it's all, this is all included in the cruise cost. Yeah. This is the main dining room and it's all. Look how fancy, there's like 20 feet, 20 utensils. <laughs> I know, right? This is where I'm gonna make my money back, right here. <laughs> All right guys, we just got our food. We got quite a few things, so we'll go rapid fire through this, but this first one right here is a crab cake, and it looks delicious. Then we also got the Andy Pasti right here, which comes with all sorts of like meats, a little bread. We got a French onion soup over here. Looks really good. And a Waldorf salad. And for our entree, I got a Caribbean pork chop, and a prime rib. Ooh, the lolly, look at that, that looks good. Right over here, got some southern fried chicken. Yes, with gravy. And then Nate got a New York steak. Missing home. Yeah, just missing home a little bit. <laughs> and Shell got herself. I got the fried chicken as well. Fried chicken, baby. And then to finish things off, we got the apple blossom vanilla ice cream. This is my favorite. I think. We get these like every time on Oh. Like a little mini apple. One, two, twenty, you know, it's all the same. And then the rest of us, us three, we got the what is this actually? Pear and blueberry cobbler. Pear and blueberry cobbler. Ooh, pear and blueberry cobbler, yeah. yes please. The question is which spoon do I use? Mm. I think it's this one. I thought you started out and then we worked your way in. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner was delicious. It was so good. So good. And now we are ending the night at the Aqua Theater yeah. with a dope show, baby. You know, like, to show these guys a water show. Each ship has a different water yeah. show. So we've never seen this one before. Water show, how'd you like it? Awesome. It was pretty sick. Awesome. <laughs> I was like scared for the diamonds. They were so high. Like 70 feet probably? Yeah. It was unreal. It was so cool. But you guys, I think we're gonna call it a night here. We were so exhausted. We've had such a full day. We cannot wait for the week ahead. We're not gonna let you guys know yet where we're going. So make sure you guys are subscribed. If you're not, come on back. It's gonna be an absolute blast. But until then, we love you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Welcome aboard, you guys. Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to our channel today and welcome back to our <laughs> If it's he, a bit windy, I don't know if oh you can gosh, tell. Oh my gosh, I know, I'm gonna blow away here any second. My hand is holding down my hat. We so are on fun. top of the cruise ship right now, oh you guys. My goodness. And if you missed our video, you're probably like, what in the world is going yeah. on? So make sure you go back and watch yesterday's video. We have had a week full of surprises. Yes. So many of you guys said how excited you are that we're back on a cruise ship. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a little windy up in the eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Better like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's actually birds right now below us. Which is blowing my mind. 
<laughs> is it blowing your mind or is it blowing your hair? It's blowing your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for the birds. It's like, uh, what are they doing? I know. So tired. I know. We had an absolute blast yesterday on the first day, and today, you guys, it's an at sea day. So we are going to be doing everything on the ship. We are starting the best way possible up here on the Right here, baby. You guys, check out our setup right now. We yeah. got Dave Shelly. Oh, oh, a bird! Oh, Look at that! Fly, birdie, fly! Oh my god! Bye, bye, birdie. Guys, <laughs> that is so cool. This is amazing. You guys, we came over and found an awesome yes. spot. Not a lot of people like there's really yeah, no one around really us no one at all. Here. And that's one push me in a lot. Yeah. Are our cruise ships crowded? Now it may depend on the size of the ship yeah. and how many passengers that they have on there. But this one, how many does it hold? It holds 6,700 people and 2,300 crew members. Can you believe that? So yeah. many. And definitely at times in certain places it feels crowded. Yeah. But right now, up on the pool decks and everything, like it doesn't feel crowded at all. We have tons of space. I'm looking at some of the pools. There's maybe like. 15, 20 people around the pool at the same time, but kind of give you guys an idea. Awesome. This ship that we're essentially floating on right now is almost 1,200 feet long, 200 feet across, and 17 decks high. So this thing is massive. Speaking of the ship, you guys, we haven't even told you which ship we are on. Yes. We thought it'd be kind of fun to see if any of you could guess the ship. So yeah. our last cruise, we were on Symphony of the Seas, which is a Royal Caribbean ship. Awesome, awesome ship. This time we already told you we are on another Royal Caribbean ship, but for any of you cruisers out there, let us know if you know which ship we are on and we will tell you in tomorrow's video, so make sure you come back for that, you guys. But you can't go wrong with Royal Caribbean. We absolutely love these ships. They're so much fun, so much to see. Now, for those of you who saw our ship tour three months ago on Symphony of the Seas, this ship is pretty darn identical. There are a few differences, some of them that are key giveaways of which one we're on right now. Well, guys, we are packing up shop. I think Nate and I are gonna try our luck at the flow rider. They've been trying to get this Michelle and I to do it, and I said, no way, I've done it before, and I ended up smashing against the wall, pummeled by water. Round two, here we come. Brittany just asked me what direction was the back of the boat, and I just told her, <laughs> All you have to do is just look off to the side, yeah. see which way you're going, and then boom, that way you know. I really just wanted to know where the soft serve machine was, you oh guys. Oh my gosh, soft we're gonna go, serve. We're gonna go find them, and I'm gonna keep counting. I had first. five yesterday. Yeah, you're not fine. I had two yesterday. <laughs> we're gonna keep tailing the whole trip, see how much soft serve we have. This place just closed down. The other one we went to earlier was also closed. Third time the charm, maybe? Third, yeah, hopefully. A woman on a mission right here. But you gotta beat this little girl. <laughs> it's like magic balls. They just open it. There's like an ice cream machine. <laughs> you just made my wife's day. I'm so excited. Oh, oh baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got our ice cream cones. About to go do the flow riders. Enjoying this amazing view. Hello. How you feeling, baby? You guys, you got I that ice cream cone. Oh, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite places on yeah. cruise ships. So we're directly far. in the middle, on the back, on the top deck. Yeah. You see the wakes that the boat creates. Look how beautiful it is. 
That's pretty incredible. Look at the birds flying down there yeah, too. Yeah, so cool. And now overlooks the Aqua Theater, which if you missed yesterday's video, we went to the most amazing water show. Go check it out. It's one of our favorite things to do oh, here on the ship. it's amazing. I love that they have like chairs everywhere that you can just pull up. And I mean, hello. I know, look at this view. Look like at you, that. This is like one giant like table almost. Like you oh could just sit here, God. order drinks, food. We know whatever the heck you want. Ice cream, haha. <laughs> Guys, this also, for the record, Brittany had one, I had two. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> one, I was gonna do two, but they melt so fast. I know. I will say, though, really quick, this is just one of many reasons why we love cruises so much. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we're here. It seems surreal, like, because we didn't plan this one forever and everything, it's just like happened. Yeah. It's so crazy that we're sitting here right now. Speaking of crazy, you guys, how darling is my swimsuit, yeah, our yeah. JV one. And you guys, we got a crazy sale going on. Oh, yeah. You like that? A little play on words, right? I actually had someone stop me and ask where I got my swimsuit, and I was like, oh, actually, you're talking to the designer himself. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It looks like Nate's getting in line over there for the flow rider. You guys, I cannot wait for these two to try the flow rider. It should be so fun. The low down. This white one is for boogie boarding. The green one means you get three chances to try to stand up on the surfboard. If you can't do it, they throw you off the They chair. basically throw, yeah, they basically kick you out of there. Guys, look at this. There's an island right there. So I know. Cuba. So there is Cuba right in the background. You guys, how epic is this backdrop for the flow riders? Seriously, it's so cool. Oh, no, they, how excited are you for the flow riders? 10 out of 10 excited. 10 We're out of 10. Mike. I'm excited to see Jared wipe out. Comment down below who's gonna stay on longer. I'm just here for the fall. So. <laughs> you guys, I'm laughing so hard. Jared's in line with the little kids and he's just stretching. And then I look over and Nate was stretching too. <laughs> Rider. Now I think it's maybe time to master the links, but okay, we not right now. We gotta actually go get ready for 
for dinner because we've had a little too much fun in the sun. A little bit right too much now. fun in the sun. Plus tonight is actually formal night, baby. Oh my gosh. Where we're walking through right now, you guys, is actually enclosed, so it's super, super windy because like all the wind almost kind of like channels through here. But it's really fun to come up here, relax, hop on one of these lounge chairs, and just enjoy the view, especially when it's rainy. Yes, and I feel like at this time everyone's kind of back in their rooms right now, so it's super yeah. quiet up on the ship, which is really cool to experience. All right, guys, we just got into our room. Check this out. Oh my gosh. They went above and beyond this time. Look at this. It's like a little baby elephant made out of towels. It really does blow me away what they can construct with towels. It's pretty incredible. We got all gussied up. Tonight is formal night. We're looking good. We got one of the Jersey boys with us as well. <laughs> I really wanted to wear it, so Jared He's hooked it up. Now Michelle and Mich sucks. Michelle's being a good sport. <laughs> you actually do look really good. <laughs> yeah, you guys look really spiffy. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> we are at a new table tonight. We are loving this new table. We're actually sitting right next to the ocean, as you can see. And it's kind of crazy. I don't know if we're in like choppy waters right now, but we are kind of rocking back and forth. I it is swaying. I felt a cruise ship sway yeah. this much. We're actually noticing it with like the drapes in our waters like moving. <laughs> but it is a really pretty view. Look at that. That is so cool. This view reminds me of the parent trap. Oh, parent trap, yeah. But I think the best part of this entire dinner, Nate, what is it? Booyah! Door, baby. <laughs> I wish they were giving out awards Looking. for best dress tonight. <laughs> I think she's a little nervous. She's holding on to my <laughs> <laughs> All right, our dinner just came out. We're gonna rapid fire this once again. I got the pumpkin soup. That looks really delicious. It's got bacon bits inside of it, as well as pumpkin yeah, seeds. I, I got for my appetizer the calamari. So did Shell and so did Nate. We also got a cheese plate here as well as beef carpaccio and we also got an iceberg wedge salad this looks really good holy cow and in case you guys are wondering if the food is good here all of them asked if they can get another calamari <laughs> for our entree you guys I got a lemon butter crusted fish that looks to die for it comes with some rice and spinach also have seafood pasta I got the stuffed portobello mushroom Ooh, and a and beef got tenderloin oh yeah and Michelle has got the same thing as Brit. Sisters that eat together, stay together. <laughs> Alright guys, we're all taking photos right now. We just took couples photos, we took a group photo, and Nate just asked him for a single photo. Just him by himself wearing the fedora for LinkedIn. He wanted a LinkedIn photo, so this is his new LinkedIn photo. Oh, he's doing it without the fedora. Here we go. This is it. <laughs> LinkedIn, Goldman Sachs, see ya, hello, Blackstone. <laughs> For dessert, you guys, I got a souffle with some ice cream. Brittany got, of course, her classic apple bottom awesome. ice cream. Nate here got cheesecake. cheesecake. Classic. 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 Oh, and what sisters order together, they stay together. <laughs> also, you guys, I just saw a huge thing of lightning on the side. Ah, what do you do after a fancy dinner? You walk it off on the track. Come down to the 
track in your fancy clothes. <laughs> well guys, Brittany just found four chairs here on the very back of the ship. It is so beautiful right here. We are literally looking at a lightning show right over here. And we're also checking out the engines right here, just churning the water, propelling us forward to our mystery destination. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> we are tired. We're exhausted. So oh, hey, we're gonna end it. <laughs> you guys, we have had such an awesome second oh, day here. Gosh. It's really our first full day on the cruise ship, yeah. which is crazy. We already feel mm -hmm. like we've done and seen so much. We hope you guys are enjoying these cruise videos. We seriously love sharing all the fun with you. Yes. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. We will try and answer them. We have a big day tomorrow. The floor rider took it out of me. Yes, you guys get some rest because <laughs> the cruising doesn't stop. Heck yeah, baby. We have a ton of fun planned and lots of fun surprises in store for all of you guys. You guys don't know where we're going yet. This is so exciting. Can't even wait to share where we are going and also we will be telling you what ship we are on tomorrow. Get those guesses in. Well, yes, let us know. It's going to be really fun to see how well you know your Royal Caribbean ships. But with that, you guys, I think we're going to call it a night. We love you all so much and we'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Welcome aboard, you guys. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the beautiful Caribbean waters. <laughs> Look at this. This is so epic. You guys, this is absolutely incredible. A ton of you guys actually guess what ship we are on correctly. We are on the beautiful Allure of the Sea, you guys. <laughs> and it is Incredible. It is breathtakingly beautiful. We love this ship. It's so awesome. So our last cruise we were on Symphony of the Seas and they're actually super, super similar. Allure is a little bit older than Symphony, but other than that, they're almost identical. We'll go Literally the almost identical. Yeah, we'll go through some of the differences as we go out throughout the cruise. Mm -hmm. So you guys can kind of know if you are planning a cruise. But so far, you guys, it has been awesome. However, what well, has not been awesome, a lot of you guys noted that you saw Brittany holding her mouth in yesterday's video. Uh, you guys, my dang cankers are back. And they are in full force right you now. You guys, what is up with being on vacation and getting these dang cankers? I actually, as you guys remember, in Puerto Rico, I had them, I started to take lysine, and it cleared them up by the time I got back home. I took a breath and then I stopped. So I have been taking a ton of lysine again starting yesterday. So hopefully you guys fingers crossed. I know. They go away because it is not fun to do it. Especially on vacation. We should just be having Yeah, fun. exactly. Don't be worrying about that. Luckily I did bring some numbing stuff that I put on them. So I have that on right now. Sorry if I'm like drooling a little bit. <laughs> Looks well, terrible. But that does help a little bit. If not, it is super painful to even eat, talk. You might grabbing my mouth like this and it just helps a little bit so anyways you guys sorry you're gonna have to deal with jared a little <laughs> bit extra today yeah she was describing to me imagine having like little slits in your mouth and that's how you have to talk yeah it's extremely painful it's not the best but you know what i'm not gonna let this dampen our cruise because we yeah. are here to have fun luckily i got to sleep in a little bit today i think this rest is what we needed we went to bed early last night Jared is gonna edit. I think I'm gonna go take a little walk around the track this morning. Nate and Michelle are already up and about. They went to breakfast this morning and they're having a ton of fun as well. So we'll meet up with them a little bit. I should let go. These are the little rescue boats right here. But this is seriously one of my favorite things to do. I love them in my body, it just makes me feel better. So I'm taking it easier today, just doing a little walk. 
getting outside, trying to enjoy these beautiful ocean views. I'm listening to my podcast, Fearless Infertility. I've talked about it before, but check it out. I mean, come on. Look at those views. It is absolutely gorgeous. One of the reasons why I love to still work out, even on vacation, obviously it makes you feel good. I feel like just getting outside, going on a walk like this really helps. My favorite part are the absolute beautiful views out here. We came back here last night. They have chairs up here that you can sit. The back of the ship is such a fun place to see the wake and everything. I mean, workout views don't get much better than this. In other words, how do we sneak in? But that's kind of cool. I had no idea those were there. So if you do go on a cruise, come look for a replica so that you can see all the hidden spots. Well, guys, just finished up editing. Look at me! Look at what we found, Oh, we found our cult cruisers, you guys. Hey, Michelle, if you guys missed yesterday's video, go back and watch it. We tell you everything that went down, how we're here together, which we are so excited about. It's been a blast so far. I'm curious, what are your thoughts? Day two. It's incredible. Every day has been like total paradise. It's so really? fun. Seriously. Yeah. I feel like the views are just breathtaking. It, it just feels surreal on so many levels. There's also just so much to do on the ship for active people like us and, and Brit and Jared. There's so many different things you can do, so many sports, activities, games. It's been super fun. I will say this, these guys are like going after it all. They're like <laughs> up in the morning, they played pickleball, played ping pong. What else have you guys done? Basketball, they did a free throw contest, yeah. ball rider. They're just like getting <laughs> all the activity. So make sure you're following them over at City Burgers yes. to find all of that. Yeah, City Burgers. All right guys, one of the places we've never shown you before either on our last cruise or so far yet on this one is the arcade so if you guys have family if you guys have kids you guys got to come check out this place it is a full-on arcade i mean david busters you better watch out because real caribbean's coming for you Steve you better be you better, you better be <laughs> Thousand to twenty thousand, barely, barely. All right, guys. Next up, we have a shooting game, mano y mano, right here. <laughs> Let's see. The things we do for men. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, last but not least is basketball. So, so far, Nate's won two. Michelle, you know, donut. <laughs> this is the one. Michelle's got a pretty good shot, so. They have been really close, though. I'll admit that. Ski ball was super close, that was super close. So, very good competition here. Good game, you guys. Good game. Good couple right here. So you guys, while Jared and Nate went to the arcade, I came up to the pool deck. I got some room from Jared and I. I went and filled up our drink cups. It's probably our favorite spot to lay out. It's up on the upper pool deck. Jared was too. He decided to go back, finish 
editing because he works so hard even here on a cruise he is in the room probably almost half the time editing getting things uploaded they just take longer because of the internet here as well so make sure you give this video a thumbs up for jared and all this hard work one of my favorite places to lay out is up on the top deck because of the wind you can obviously tell it's super windy but that makes it so nice to lay out you can probably hear they have light music in the background it's so fun and then you gotta check out my view right now this is probably my absolute favorite part about cruises it's just the beautiful views you get to experience one big difference between this ship and symphony of the seas is you'll notice there are no water slides so i will say if you do have kids in a family maybe alert is not the best ship for you if water slides are a big deal i know a ton of their other ships have them they also have the dry slide with the map really fun this one doesn't have that one either but it pretty much has almost everything else one thing that is a must if you have seen our cruise video you know I talk about our packing clips make sure you pick up some of these and bring on your cruise they are lifesavers because with the wind my towel would be going everywhere but with these it's awesome <laughs> you went back in to finish up editing. It's so windy, it's, I wish we had a better mind. <laughs> it's so windy, guys, I'm covering it right now, so hopefully you can hear us, but it feels amazing when you're laying out up here. Michelle just texted me, Nate made it into a basketball tournament, Ooh. so we're gonna head down and go watch it. Oh, did get the soda package again for this trip. It's an extra cost today. I think it's around nine dollars I want to say a day but it's totally worth it. They have like vitamin water, Gatorade, they have the Coke freestyle machines and so we have been using it a lot. We even use it at dinner as well and then you can go up to any bar and ask as well. In case you don't drink alcohol there are other options or you can also opt not to do a soda package and they have complimentary water and I think lemonades and juices like at the buffets and at dinner at night yeah. as well. So, and the cups this time, they're pretty cool. They're different. I yeah, actually like different. these more than the other ones. We are curious if they're gonna have the same ones or different ones, but they're a little bit different. There's also a little splash pad kids area, which is so fun for the littles. You guys, I love just looking down. This is Central Park down here. We showed this in yesterday's video. Super similar to Symphony as well with that. One thing I did not know about cruise ships is the pools are salt water. And Jared told me they empty them almost every night. Is it every night? Yeah. Every night and refill them back up. I had no idea. I just thought they were like normal pouring empty pools. Empty and clean them. Empty, clean them for the next day. So it is literally a constant, just around the clock job here on their cruise ship. Seriously, the sweetest workers ever. We love meeting all the different people from the different countries. That's another, I would say, favorite part mm -hmm. of cruising. Oh, there he is. Right, Have you played yet? We played one game. Okay. First one. Nice. So we're going on to the second round right now. Oh boy! Team, so Nate, go make us proud, dude. <laughs> Advance, unfortunately. So close, I think. <laughs> it was so close. But how fun is they going to play basketball? Oh, on it's a way ship? cool. Oh my gosh, they play basketball. I think it's every week. If yeah. you guys remember, that's actually how he tore his Achilles uh -huh. pendant like a year ago, but he's fully recovered, so it's really fun to see. <laughs> he's Back really on the good. Yeah. He is really good. I mean, in the view, we are yeah. looking I mean, at the ocean right now. That's incredible right there. I mean, all, right in front of us is the court. I'll Pretty sit dope. here and watch basketball any day if I get to sit <laughs> right here. Buddy, you're a champion in our book. I know. <laughs> champion of the consolation league. Good work, here. <laughs> well, guys, we just came to do the zip line. We're so stoked to do it. Unfortunately, we found out not only do you have to have closed-toed shoes, which I do have, but you need to have a t-shirt. You can't have a tank top because of the harness. Ah. Safety reasons. Anyway, I'm going to run on down, get a t-shirt. We're going to go ride that zip line. Yeah! I should let go. Boom! 
just like that, I'm in a full-on t-shirt. I'm gonna go ride this zip line. I brought one for Nate as well. Got the JB swag going on. We have a special sale where you guys can get 10% off everything. Loves you want to wear my shoes and shirt? Uh, I'll go the next CD. <laughs> I'm gonna go the next day. I promise. Comment down below, you guys. I do not want her to back out. This is the funnest thing in the world. If you guys have a chance to go on one of the Royal Caribbean ships to Oasis class, you guys gotta do this. It's yes. Awesome. Nate, how was it, dude? It was pretty sweet. I was a little nervous stepping up the first time, but after that, it was just pretty awesome. It's it was good. fun. So, I know. got into the second time. You're like, yeah. <laughs> now that these two have done it, shall we doing it the next CD? Yeah. 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 Shell's, and Shell's a little nervous of height, yeah. so we'll see. But give her some encouragement down below, you guys. Yeah. Do you want to see Michelle do a zip line? Come on, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> So that line is like mega long, so you become buddy buddy with the guy next to you. And Nate and I became friends with this guy named John. He's a stud. Basically, he was telling us that he's here for three more weeks on holiday. He gave us some pointers on what to do, and I told him I'd film him as well. But the guy was like freaking good, oh <laughs> like really, gosh. really good. <laughs> so awesome, you guys. One thing I love about Jared and Nate, they make friends everywhere they go. <laughs> Michelle and I were talking about that, how they're just always chatting it up with everyone. They're always cheering on everyone, especially people that are kind of having a hard time like doing it. They would just cheer so loud. Yeah, you know, because you're in that same position. Anyway, thank you, John, for the tips. Now we're gonna go get ready for dinner. <laughs> It's about oh, six o'clock. Our dinner isn't until <laughs> eight. So we came up to the Windjammer. Pre We're pre-dinnering a little bit. And they have some really good stuff tonight. This is grilled swordfish. I got a vegetable curry, grilled veggies, some cheese. Mm -hmm. I got some pasta. I got big pasta, pork tenderloin. A nice hot, hot dog, dog there, mm -hmm. some mozzarella salad. And I think this is like a pad thai. Mm -hmm. Check out. The beautiful view though. Do you see it's the sun is starting to set right now? Oh, I love it here. <laughs> Well, we're sitting here in Central Park again, all gussied up. We got the whole crew here. Yeah. Hey, everybody. And we're a little backlit. Yeah, we're kind of backlit yeah. right here. But we are sitting here right now in Central Park because we are going to watch Mamma Mia, which is about to stroll through here any minute now. Yes, so apparently they're just the seniors are coming. They're not doing yeah. a full out projection. There is that over in one of the theaters here, but this is like a little teaser, you could say. <laughs> so we decided to come down here and check it out before dinner. All right, guys, we are here at dinner, and we've ordered pretty much all the same things for the appetizers. So, Shell, Britt, and myself all got tacos. Well, it's not any tacos, Jerry. Oh, sorry, not just any tacos. It's the sweet pork, like, Asian style tacos in the nice, fluffy buns. Yeah, they are really, really one of good. Last cruise, and it was so good. We told everyone. Yes. So, hopefully, they're good, or otherwise, we're sorry. And then Nate here, he's trying something different. A little adventurous out here. 
the Caribbean. I'm gone with the escargot. Oh my God. Never done this before. So, if you do not know, each one of those like little dark things, those are snails. Oh, Jared <laughs> always gets at least one order on cruises. Yeah. I think it's so, good. I'm gonna try it and I'm encouraging Michelle to try one. It's, it's like mushrooms. It's like you're eating Just mushrooms. Exactly. A little salty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna kiss him. <laughs> you're not gonna kiss him. Alright, here it is. Surf's up. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually really good. Like you're not thinking that it's a snail. <laughs> and for the entrees, I got pork. Nope, I got lamb chops with mint sauce. Really good. Nathaniel got the same. Got the same with an addition of the Ooh, garlic tiger shrimp. That it looks bomb. I regrettingly did not get it. I Michelle. Don't know what this is called? It's like tagliatelle. Yeah, tagliatelle, something like that. And also and the, the garlic shrimp. shrimp. And then Brittany, the garlic shrimp as well. She even just took a photo from it to match her last photo she took. And to finish things off for dessert, I guess I got some <laughs> tres leches. I always screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are real side of vlogging. You feel me? We're just laughing so hard. Each time Jared tries to say what we have, he no. can't pronounce it. Each or time he say, forgets. Each time I try to say what I got, I just screw it up. <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, it's the chicken when really it's like steak. I got tres leches. Tres leches. I got vanilla ice, ice cream. cream. Some tiramisu. <laughs> You guys all know what I got already. Apple blossom. Yeah, can't they just use the footage Same from last night? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Insert night after night after night. This, this thing is so good. I hopped on board the apple pie train oh. as well. Apple so blossom jeans. And we also have the most amazing staff helping us out tonight. Oh, they are awesome. <laughs> Seriously, the so, people. so nice. They were so nice. They brought us these extra tiramisu. And we're like, you guys just share them. Yeah. So nice. So we just finished up with a lovely dinner. It was absolutely delicious. The, the service and staff here are amazing. The sweetest people ever. Literally, we just spent a few minutes talking with them, but awesome, awesome experience, food, everything. And it's so fun just to be in like the dining hall. It's yeah. kind of emptied out now, so you can see it's three floors, which is crazy. They can fit so many people in here, and it's just, it's insane. Yeah operational like logistics standpoint yeah it's unbelievable like yeah do every lunch and dinner and maybe breakfast yeah yeah, yeah. It's like there's yeah. almost 7,000 guests on this ship yeah all of them. <laughs> yeah everyone it's literally hundreds and hundreds of tables and on it's, mm -hmm. three floors and it's like plated dinner you know it's like it's yeah it's nice here. like Jared said we have like 10 utensils for <laughs> like yeah a That's a lot of utensils. Like clean up from dinner, get ready, set for breakfast, and then yeah. the next day it's just like anyway, it's So what do you think so far of the summer. first cruise? Your first one ever. I'm coming back next week with you guys. Oh. <laughs> Best cruise ever. <laughs>
to our channel. Welcome to the beautiful beaches of Aruba, oh our first destination God. here on our cruise. <laughs> you guys, we are so excited. The morning has already been off to an amazing, amazing start. We watched the sunrise this morning from our balcony. It was gorgeous. As we pulled into Aruba. <laughs> the sun literally rose over the island again like it did in Roatan. If you guys missed that vlog, go back, watch it. It's awesome. It's our absolute favorite thing, just to sit out on the balcony, yeah. watch it rise. We even had breakfast brought to our room by Michelle. Yes. Michelle and they got up early and so went nice. worked out yeah. and then they brought us breakfast to our room. <laughs> How this, amazing is that? This guy got up super early and was editing the video so he got to eat out there. <laughs> and then as Jared mentioned, we pulled into Aruba. Oh my gosh, you guys, we oh, even man. saw dolphins, which was really cool. We yeah. captured one of them. Oh, it was so sick seeing the dolphins. And then in addition to that, we saw a massive cruise ship pull up right alongside of us. So fun, everyone's waving, screaming. Jared's like, subscribe to Jared Everett. Any of you are on that ship, let us know down below. Then you guys, we disembarked the ship, hopped onto a free shuttle that took us to like where all the vendors were at. Yeah, it, took, it was like a two minute little thing. You yeah, can walk easy. as well, drop you off at the exit. We did not book an excursion with Royal Caribbean. We decided to do our own. We chanced it, we know. Chanced it, we it decided to wing it. And it totally paid off. We found the most awesome, bright yellow Jeep. There she is, our trusty steed for the day. <laughs> Check out our new whip. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? So guys, we got this for $100 less than getting one of those. Quite the deal, and this looks way cooler. You'll see a ton of different vendors, they're offering stuff. One guy offered to drive us around the island, $75 a person for two hours, and that's squeezing three in the back and he's driving. Yeah. We came over to Jay's car rental, it's just around the corner. And we are getting this for 275 for the entire day until 6 p.m. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. There's a little travel tip for you. Always check around before you make a decision. We're calling it Big Bird. Big Bird. We're at Big Bird today. You cannot miss us. If you no. see Big Bird, you cannot miss us for sure. We decided to come to our first stop. We were at Boca Catalina, and supposedly this has some awesome snorkeling. One reason we know why is because you can see yes. all the tours around here in their big catamarans. And we get a pull right up and snorkel. We're gonna snorkel right next to them. We did bring our own snorkeling gear. We do have it linked down below. It's our absolute favorite. We've used it for years on Amazon. You guys, it's really fun. A lot of these catamarans have swings that you can swing from the ship. So if you're into big tours like that, I'm sure there are a ton available, even through Royal Caribbean as well. Actually, I know there were, there were quite a few. But as you can tell, just renting your own car, doing kind of being on your own time, it has its perks for sure. The one thing is, if you were, you know, an issue comes up or something like that, and you're not able to make it back to the ship in time, the ship will leave you. So just keep that in mind when you're booking your own excursions. That is a risk that we are taking. So fingers crossed all goes well and we don't have anything come up too crazy. I cannot believe this beautiful water. We have so much planned today. We want to see as much of the island as we can. There's definitely some beautiful beaches. Man, we are just wowed by this first place. So I was a little bit bummed. I thought my GoPro was gonna be fully charged, but it wasn't. I've been having issues with it. I think I need another one. Anyway, I ended up taking my phone, really put the phone waterproof to the test. It worked great. Yay. Hopefully I still have a phone. And hopefully it still functions, but so far so good. It was almost better than the GoPro quality. No way. It was oh awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And it's a big screen, and so it's really nice to be able to film stuff, and I was able to get stuff in story format, so go check out our Instagram. It's gonna be loot. The sun is out now, you guys. I I'm know. gonna go hop in with Jared a little bit. Yeah. Michelle's gonna watch our stuff on the beach, and I'm gonna go see these beautiful fish yeah. in Aruba. <laughs>
in. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. The sun came out, it was lighting up the water, so many fish. And thank goodness for all of these excursions because they were basically chumming the waters, getting a ton of fish out. <laughs> they were spread all in the water from them. How was snorkeling, would you guys say? Awesome. Awesome? Best day of all time. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn a little bit, but Jared taught me how to hold my breath and dive down, so I was going down by she all the fish. She was killing it. It was kind of fun. Seriously crushing it. She did so well, and we got a ton of stories. So again, go check us out. Yeah, go check us out over on Instagram and TikTok. Now, you guys, we are just soaking up some of this beautiful sun. We brought snacks. We actually packed quite a few snacks for the cruise because last time we went on a cruise, I wish I would have brought more beef. Just because the snacks on the ship, there's not too many, plus they're super pricey. So brought sun chips, beef jerky sticks as well, some candy. So we're just eating snacks, enjoying this beautiful Aruba Beach. back in Big Bird. Yeah, Big Bird. Right here. So the place, the car rental place, Jay's, gave us some maps, which is really helpful. It has spelled out like all the dive and snorkeling sites, attractions, beaches, shopping and mall, and then it has them numbered on here. So it's super, super helpful. We may go up and around the coast, or we may just head down here to where all the really pretty beaches are. We're trying to decide what to do. Jeep. It is so cool though. Yeah, this thing is so cool. We call it Big Bird because it stands out. <laughs> yeah, can you big see why? Jeep. I mean, I was telling Brent, you know, we tried to find a place that had a car that oh would match our bag. He's such a but... teaser. <laughs> you guys, but seriously, we were just talking about how much we love this thing because it's quiet. The yeah. ATVs are really noisy. They're super noisy and it's like really hot. And like this is just like big open. Yeah, you get the wind. We got leather cushion seats. You even get the shade right here that's covered, AC. But honestly. And look how cool it looks. And also just a little tip for you. The guy said ATVs cannot go to the national park whereas yeah, Jeeps can. can. So. Not only is this like better overall, but it's also $100 cheaper. $100 cheaper. We just got here though and bam. Check this out. This is called the California Lighthouse. We came all the way to Aruba. <laughs> To, to see California. To see California. <laughs> and now this actually looks really similar to the one in Florida that we go to. It's white like yeah, that. This one's really cool. cool though. It has like little windows all on the side. You can actually go up to it. There's a lookout point up there. It is beautiful. It just overlooks these And Kind look at the waters. coastline Unreal. here. One thing I am surprised about, I did not know this about Aruba. It seems pretty deserty. Yeah. Like there's cactus everywhere. I had took up the drone, I was following the car and it was just crazy to see how dry it was around here. Yeah, it's crazy for how blue and beautiful the coastline is it's kind of crazy Jared just got a whole crowd of ATVers to start honking oh my gosh so right next to the lighthouse is this like bus right here with tons of souvenirs a lot of refreshments Brittany's in here talking to her parents her new best friend Jumas. Jumas. what's up bro how you doing dude <laughs> Coconut. Oh, yeah. yeah! The water. Oh, oh yeah, drink it down! Yeah. yeah, bro! This is so dope! This is the coconut. Oh, that's dope. I'm good. Is it good? Yeah. Thank you! Thank you. It's awesome! Woo. Okay, 
right guys, we decided to pull off to a place to get some acai that's apparently in this hotel resort and this place is bomb. It's just so beautiful with all like the palm trees lining the beach, turquoise waters, white sandy beaches, all the umbrellas made out of palm leaves. This resort right here totally reminds us of like Cozumel. If you guys haven't seen that Cozumel video, I will link it down below for you guys. Oh, I got a chicken yeah. bowl that looks delicious. delicious. They got some tacos. Had some shrimp tacos. We're at a little restaurant called the Garden Fresh Guys, Cafe. Little stop on our way down to our next destination. We just came to a place that is definitely one of the best beaches here in Aruba. Rarely people go to it because it's 40 minutes from the cruise terminal. We debated between this, Eagle Beach, Palm Beach, but we are at Baby Beach. And this beach is insane. <laughs> it is so beautiful. The water here literally looks like a swimming pool. It's so turquoise. If you guys have kids, this would be a perfect beach to bring them to because it is so shallow. You can walk out there for like hundreds of yards. It's crazy how shallow this place is. Look at this. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. It's kind of like a little like U-shaped. Yeah. All I want to do is say, <laughs> Guys, look at this. I cannot believe this has got to be one of the most beautiful beaches we've ever been to in our entire lives. Gorgeous. <laughs> this place. Baby beach, baby oh baby. It, it is amazing. Like the sand, yeah. let me show you. We were just talking about this. This is like the painter sand that you just like can put on you. It's like a paste and then it just like comes off like that. It's literally like baby powder. We were saying that's probably why it's called baby beach. That's, it's that's maybe why. Baby powder. And it's awesome. Like it's so shallow. The water is so refreshing. There's tons oh, of those it feels little so good. white fish everywhere. Those come swim yeah. right up to you. And look at this. Honestly, guys, I think this might be our favorite beach. Oh, it is. It is amazing. Beautiful, and it's so crazy because the drive here, I didn't realize what a desert, at least the part of Aruba world, yeah. is. There's cactus everywhere. It's pretty brown. Like it's not your tropical Hawaii feel island mm. at all. It's very dry. But then you get to the beaches and the coastlines, and it's like oh, amazing. 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 Also, <laughs> We've been, I, I mean, yeah, look at Shell. Like, She's at her knees. Yeah. It's just so shallow here. It's crazy. It's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. If you guys had the opportunity to come to Aruba and you only have a few hours here, so for example, you're on a cruise, yeah. definitely come to Baby Beach. Yeah, and I feel like it's less crowds. Maybe there are 10 more people here earlier, but yeah. there are not many people here at all. Oh, right it's now. just chill. Yeah.
Well, I think it's safe to say that I've officially left my heart at Baby Beach. I know, you guys, our time is coming to an end. <laughs> we need to head on back to the cruise port, which we're so sad about because this beach. This is beach! Beautiful. Baby, I'll be back. Oh. oh my gosh, you guys, put this on your list if you do. Yeah, visit we may Aruba. have to do another Southern Caribbean cruise or just no. a trip to Aruba. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful <laughs> out here. Avocado. I'm not really sure what's going on, but that is pretty scary. It is just billowing smoke. We could see it clear from the cruise port. We were wow. wondering what it was, and then when we drove past it, there were a ton of news crew, and police yeah. had the street all blocked up. So we're we'll about to look it up. Hopefully everyone's okay, but it is massive. It is huge right now. It's been going forever. We were hoping like crazy it wasn't gonna ruin Baby Beach, but we're seeing now that it was actually blowing in the other direction. Yeah. In fact, in front of us, you can see it's just really hazy. It's definitely blowing in this direction. You can smell it too. We just hope that no one was hurt in that fire because that looks like it was pretty big. Yeah. It's burning for hours. It's crazy because it said it smells like a thousand fireworks were just lit off. It's yeah. so fuming here. It goes in one door out the other, but it's yeah. all surrounding us. Yeah. And you guys, my hair is going crazy in here. Jeep <laughs> live. driving back to the cruise port. Look at the darling buildings here. We're hoping we can come walk around, but we may be a little tight on time because we need to put gas back in the rental car and get back, but I think everyone's heading back to the cruise port, so it's a little bit crazy out here. Fingers crossed that we make it back on the ship because can you imagine missing the cruise ship? They yes. do not wait. Oh my gosh. They, they won't wait for they us. They seriously do not wait. In fact, they were telling us last time that not only do they wait, but it's very frequent that you see passengers running after the ship. Yeah, and like waving down, and they don't wait. We have about 45 minutes till we need to be there. So. And we're stuck in traffic, trying to about gas. five minutes away, but yeah. quite a bit of traffic. So try around Aruba. So we just filled up on gas. We have like maybe three minutes until we have to return the car. Michelle did call in advance just to see if maybe if they would give us a little bit of like leeway. We're gonna hope so and cross our fingers. But guys, like we really hope that we can get there in time because if not, I don't know what we're gonna do. So guys, we are in downtown Aranjestead. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but just look how beautiful and picturesque like these buildings are. They look like they're almost like Disneyland theme park over here. It's just so cool looking. We were hoping like crazy we're gonna have time to walk around, but it doesn't look like that we're gonna have that opportunity only because of traffic right now. It's just super bad. We gotta be able to return the car. So the reason that we're stressing super bad, you guys, is because the address for this place was not on the paperwork. And so we were stressing like crazy. They did not show up on Google Maps either. When we, when we called the phone number, it didn't work. But we are here. We made it. Oh, you guys, I'm kind of having a heart attack. My heart was beating there for a little yeah. bit. We were stuck in traffic, gas was way backed up, and then we came back. Well, Big Bird, you've been good. You've been fun. We'll see you later. The people days were super nice, even though we brought it back late. Yeah. They didn't charge us extra or anything. They yeah, they were good, awesome. So. Seriously, look how dope that is. If you guys come, go to Jay's, get that right there. Get Big Bird. We are so grateful we got the car returned. We're back. We did not miss our ship. We have about yes. 20 minutes before yes. we definitely need to head back because <laughs> the lines can get kind of long. Yeah. So we 
decided to come stop over in the cruise for where all the vendors are because we're looking for stuff for my cute parents. Yes. We thought it'd be really fun to get them a little souvenir from each stop that we go. Yeah. We wish like crazy they were here with us. We actually invited them, but they want to wait till it's cold in Utah yeah. and go on a cruise with us. So we are planning on with them. Hopefully, hopefully. I know you guys, they're so sweet. So anyways, we check in with them every day. They are having a blast. We go more. Guys, there is no question, Aruba has been amazing. Britt and I were talking, we feel like we have to do another Caribbean cruise just to come back down here because it's so beautiful, there's so much to see, there's so much we did not have the opportunity to go see as well. Your first cruise, first cruise port, how did you think? It was a picture perfect day, honestly. Yeah? Incredible. Loved it? The Jeep, the beaches, the company, it was all fun. <laughs> I know, it's so funny, we were saying, we just felt like we were in a rental car and we were supposed to be driving back to a hotel or something, uh, but we're going back uh, to our uh, amazing cruise ship. <laughs> Look yeah. at the, how big that thing is. Man, real Caribbean just does it right. You guys, they really do. Also, I've been reading a few of your guys' comments and some of you guys were asking about Sweet little Nora. Yeah. She's still know. doing really well. <laughs> Lauren and Glenda are taking such good care of her. Seriously. <laughs> Last night though, we got home to our room and we were like, we miss Nora and we watched videos of her. We watched some little videos of her. <laughs> That's cute. First vacation, more than what, 24 hours? Yeah, like wow. one, day, one night we left her with like our parents, but. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, it's a different experience. <laughs> we miss her. But it's been fun just being like couples as well. We yeah. of course miss little sweet Nora yeah. and Morning Glenna. They're yeah. so sweet. We decided to not to FaceTime them quite yet because she's doing so well. So we don't want to like we don't want to yeah. remind her, remind yeah. her that we're gone. Okay? Yeah. So, That's a good point. So That's a good point. On Wednesday, we'll be yeah. Cool. Yeah, so Very you cool. Guys are so sweet. Yes. I think we're gonna go ahead and end today's video. What a day from start to finish, yes. you guys. Tomorrow we go to a new location. Woo! We're so excited. <laughs> we love you all, and we'll see you all then. See you guys. Love you. Bye. Welcome to Jericho. You guys, we were just laughing. Jared was saying how we're taking more photos than anything else. And I said, babe, I mean, look around us right now. How this is can a you not? a spot to take photos. I mean, all the colorful buildings, it's amazing. Plus, Michelle's dress. No, just I know, you guys, how beautiful is Shell in her dress? <laughs> I didn't wear it. I almost didn't wear it. It's but. so yeah. dreamy. And great and great. Yeah. Citrus Ooh. Sisters right here. Uh. This beautiful orange tree <laughs> back here. Yeah, so, yeah. Punda, I would definitely put on your list. It's so dreamy. I just feel like every little street you walk down is so cute. So much history here. Nate, as you know, you guys, is kind of like our history buff. Yeah. <laughs> he was saying, tour guide, he's giving us all the little facts and stuff. If you guys ever want to go to Curacao, I'll put Nate's number down below. <laughs> Just kidding. Tips. <laughs> so you guys, definitely though, it is very hot in the city. So I would plan maybe a couple hours here in the morning before you go do your beach stuff. Oh, guys, we are so excited to be here in this beautiful country. It's known for its colorful buildings. <laughs> so much history here. I got off the ship this morning, walked across this most amazing bridge. I think it's the oldest floating bridge. In yeah, the world. yeah the oldest pontoon bridge, pontoon bridge in the world. It's like floating bridge. on the water. That is so cool. It's not, like, open up for the like, ferries <laughs> to come through, it was so neat. It was awesome.
Guys, we've been taking photos like crazy of these beautiful streets. You guys are gonna have to go follow us over on Instagram, as well as over on Michelle and Nate's Instagram. We're getting lots of really cool stuff. I mean, just look at this. Look how colorful these streets are. It's like the movie set. These streets are so dry. <laughs> yes, every single like little like corridor, alleyway is just so beautiful. And we're inside of like a little shaded park area. Tons of restaurants, shops, things to see. Oh my gosh, you can hear all the birds chirping. You guys hear that? It's so pretty. It's just magical. <laughs> oh my gosh. If it wasn't so hot, I think we could spend probably like three or four hours just wandering around the city streets. That is one thing about this downtown area. Because there's so many buildings everywhere and there's literally like no gaps in between them other than in a few alleyways, it doesn't really give much chance for the breeze to blow through here. So it gets pretty hot pretty quick. Oh, it's so beautiful. I was actually just gotta say, like, what you guys decided to wear today is like perfect. Like, everything. No, even his shirt matches the sky right now. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, seriously, these colorful buildings are like so like just crazy looking. It's like almost like a movie set. Right. Well, it's the Dutch Caribbean. So yeah. Caribbean. It's yeah. Really it's really beautiful. So cool. <laughs> so I to come here in the morning while it's a little bit cooler because it is a hot place. Oh my gosh, it's sweltering. It's not much breeze here. <laughs> and starting with our tour, the first thing we're checking out is this old synagogue right here. And Nate knows a lot about this place. Yeah, I'm kind of a history nerd a little bit, <laughs> so I've learned a little bit about these different things. So guys, join us for a little history tour. It's Michelle and Nate. <laughs> so a little bit of history. This is an amazing place. It's the oldest continuously operating synagogue in all the Western Hemisphere. So really historic. The queen of the Netherlands came and dedicated this place. They basically were grateful because the Dutch granted religious freedom to the Jews when the, the Spanish kicked them out in the, the 1500s. My ancestors were actually Jewish. You have to wear a skull cap or like a, like a yarmulke, basically a head covering in here because it's considered sacred ground. So they actually asked Jared and I to cover our heads and put on these head coverings. The interesting thing about these sandy floors here is the Jews faced so much persecution in Europe over the centuries that this sandy floor is kind of uh, remembering the times when they had to practice in secret and they'd have to shuffle their feet to make, be quiet and not be heard when they're doing their religious practice. That's crazy, man. Just check this out, you guys. This is like legitimate sand. It's like almost like we're on the beach. Like that's what it is. That's crazy. How special is that and kind of sacred that that's why they have it? I think that's so yeah. cool. I cannot get over just the design in here, the blue stained glass windows that they're going. Do you know what year this was built around? Yeah, so this was built around in the 1500s, I think. What? So if you guys want to enter here, you can, they actually have a free locker that you can put your stuff in. And that's just only a $10 interest fee to pay to come in here, but it's totally worth it. In here is just so beautiful. Holy cow. And like just to see like the sandy floors, that's just very, very special. It's a little bit of an overwhelming feeling. Also included in the $10 admission price is entrance into their museum. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to film inside of there. There's a strict no filming, no cameras, no cell phones of any sort. Whether you're religious or not, this is just really cool to see all this architecture, especially knowing that this is the oldest synagogue in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> It's kind of crazy because it's just floating. It's like a boat. But my gosh, look at the color of this water. Absolutely beautiful. And there's a huge bridge right up here. Jared just joined in with these dancers and so it funny. was amazing. They pulled him in. Yeah, they're like, come dance with us. I mean, you guys know Jared's never gonna say no to dancing. <laughs> so they were all dancing, everyone was cheering. It was so much fun. I think we're gonna have to make a little reel or TikTok out of that one. Also, Shell and I were joking about, you know when you're on vacation, ladies, most ladies, they like to take 
photos. And we're dressed up more today than yeah. other days. Before we hit the beach. Yeah, before we hit the beach, we want some pictures. So anyways, it is hot, I get that. But we wanted our photos. And we're just laughing how husbands can get a little impatient when it comes to photos. Sorry, That's Jared. why we're here with sisters on yes, trips. That's right. It's been so much fun being here with Shell. My gosh, a few of you guys mentioned how fun would a girls cruise be with like your sisters, your mom, your friends. Oh my gosh. If we did one for our family, that would be so much fun. All right, you guys, we just got a taxi. We are gonna head over to a beach right now. We're just picking it up right from when you get across the bridge right here. They have taxis over there too, but we found this one's a better deal. Okay guys, we just left Punda and that place is so beautiful. It's like you open up a crayon box and like took out a color for each building. It's so pretty. <laughs> now we hopped in a taxi with the coolest taxi driver ever. This is Edeline. <laughs> she is so cute. She's awesome. She's been telling us all about the history around here. She actually used to live in Florida, so we're gonna exchange contact info. <laughs> Yeah, she is. I'm just to sing in our local language, Papiamento. Conta bye, how are yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> she speaks so many languages, it's crazy. No, it's only four. It's only, only four. four. Okay. <laughs> only four. How many languages do you guys speak? I'm curious, huh? Curious. Yeah, she speaks four. Four. Yeah. Actually, there are people that speak about seven languages. Wow. So, uh, we are multi-languages here. So, it looks island. like you have to pick up the slack then. <laughs> <laughs> but now, you guys, we're on our way to Port Porto, Porto Marie. Porto Marie. Yeah, she's got Porto it. Porto Marie Beach. You know what? I'm just going to hand the camera over to her. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> she's taking us all the way there, and then she's actually going to take us back to the ship when we're all done. So, she's a champ. Thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. See you. Okay, so we just got out of our taxi and Edeline was awesome. She, she was is the so funny. Ever. And listen, she's a on. total gem. Her best friend drives too for the same taxi company. Yeah. That's who we passed, and she's like, let's go up to her and see her. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're here, you're the best friend. So we're saying hi. Have a good one. <laughs> bye bye. So fun. She is so cute. So you guys, we just got to the beach here. So it's about a 30 minute ride I'd yeah. from Punta. It wasn't bad at all, far. yeah. Super close. And if you guys have an opportunity to come here, ask for taxi number 35. That's Edeline. She is awesome. You guys, I'm looking at the water right now. <laughs> oh Jared. my gosh, this water is insane. Oh <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Wow. So just a heads up when you guys come here, we did know this in advance, but if you guys want to come on the beach, it's $3 to enter, and then if you want to have chairs or anything like that, those also cost for a rental fee. They have a really cool restaurant right here as well that just overlooks the beautiful turquoise waters. I cannot believe that water right now. Look at this, you guys. This looks like it's out of a dream. This might be the bluest water I've ever seen. I cannot get over how beautiful this place is. You guys, look, look at, at this. this. It's so empty here. Yeah. It's not very crowded Yeah, there's all. like no one here in this water. Look at that. Look at that! It oh looks my like gosh! It looks like <laughs> and check out this old boat right here. I just cannot believe this. And we're walking along seashells right here. Just pelican. coral. Look at the pelican oh there. my gosh! So look guys, at this. A little cold. The drive over here. Once we got up into the hills, it got pretty green around and everywhere. I didn't realize how many hills there were here. Yeah, there are so many hills here in Curacao, Absolutely. but that water when the sun hits it. I've said it like 14 times already, but look, way out there in the distance, looks like there's like a floating pad That's that you can so go out there fun. and just lay out, oh. sunbathe, this little pelican, 
It's just chilling. There's definitely snorkeling going on, so we're gonna be doing some of that here in a little bit. Gonna be using the iPhone again since it worked so good last time. You guys, we're so excited. So if we had longer here on the island, we have to be back on the ship at 3.30. So we don't have as much time here as no, we did yesterday. yesterday we had until almost seven. So yeah. that's why we chose to come to this beach because it was much closer than up on the other side of the island yeah. where there's some great beaches there. I know there's a beach called Grotto Nip that we almost went to that's supposed to have really good snorkeling. But I mean, <laughs> Look at the water! Oh my gosh! There's a cruise ship in the distance going by! Yeah, there's a cruise ship way off yonder! <laughs> Made it out to the floating island out there. That's somebody's waving in his arms. <laughs> He's gonna jump off. <laughs> Having the time of his life. here the water is so clear and so pretty there's not a whole lot of fish right here so snorkeling snorkeling's like you know whatever I know I can't even focus on what Jared's saying I just want to look out this way because look how gorgeous the that water is it's pretty unreal though it is so cool so not too far from here there's actually a shelf where it gets super super deep and so we actually found scuba divers there and I dove down next to them and I felt kind of cool you know here I am snorkeling and they're scuba diving then they go down into that. So it's just so cool. There's so many things to do here. It is awesome, you guys. Nate and Michelle went for a little walk along the beach. Jared and I, we jumped off this little dock right here, which is pretty oh, fun. so much fun. Michelle captured that, and then over there is that swimming dock. Yes. Man, so there's just, it's just so pretty here. We're just saying, like, we wish we had more time here in Curacao. Yeah, that's the one thing about cruises, is you are limited to amount of time, but it also makes it so you can see yeah. way more places than just a regular destination vacation. If you do come here, there is one restaurant here. We did bring snacks. We got some drinks back there, some ice cold drinks, because it is a hot one here. Oh my gosh, it for is sure. scorching here. Luckily, we've gotten little pockets of cloud cover. I'd have yeah. to say it's probably been more cloud cover than sun, so it feels amazing when the clouds come in, but I will say it's way more beautiful in the water when the sun comes out and it just lights up the bright blue water. I know, when I was actually flying a drone, I was trying to time it when the sun would come out, but it was just so funny because I would get it up really high and then the clouds would come out and it'd be like all dark and so I have to wait again until it's super bright. But then I had gotten it up so high up in the air that it was giving me like a really strong wind warning. So I got a little worried, so I put my drone into sport mode, which makes it go 40 miles an hour. It was barely even moving. I thought for sure I lost the drone. He was over here and he's like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I was like, what? And he's like, I don't think the drone, the drone's not coming back. I'm like, well, you're happy to come back? He's like, yeah, it's not coming back. It's too windy. And I was like, oh. <laughs> we always get like pits in our stomach when we yeah. hear things like that because we have lost drones in the past. Also, one other thing is this beach you may see, we talked about this earlier, but it has lots of coral along here. So it's pretty rocky. That's why a lot of people jump in on the dock to kind of get around all the rocks right here. It's not the biggest sandy area for sure, but these beach chairs are awesome. Oh. 
way better than laying on the sand for sure three dollars uh, I don't there's our boat back there yeah I mean babe how are we gonna get it home I guess you'll have to attach an engine to it to get it back I was just gonna like you know wait till high tide push it in oh, and then just canoe back it's a rowboat yeah, yeah, a rowboat, yeah. Oh, okay that makes more sense what do you guys think of our new rowboat hey I'll take that rowboat any day Well guys, it's been good. We're leaving this place. About to hop in our taxi ride. There she is. We're Miss Edeline. Uh, right on time. You are on time. You are on the time. I'm late. Yet. Waiting for you actually. You're waiting for me. The chef. Oh, okay. We were good to see you. Or it's good to see you again. Good to see you all. Let me see if you have a nice stand. <laughs> yeah, nice sunburn. This guy gets really dark. He's, yeah, I think he's a mix then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a mutt. Yeah, so how was your day? Uh, not busy. Not busy? I, was no, your last was, group as cool as us? Yeah. Or cooler? I. They were cooler. <laughs> you had a great time we at did. the beach? Yeah. We had a wonderful time, yes. Okay, that's what I want to hear. You, we had so much fun you, riding with you. I'm not like about. you go if you say you're, you did not have a good time. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Because then I, I will say to the ship, leave them here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your place? You're take us yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have a place. I have a place. I will uh, <laughs> sleep on, on on the floor. Oh! And, uh, you can sleep on a bed. You are so <laughs> That's so nice of her. <laughs> Guys, Come to Curacao. Come to Curacao. <laughs> Sleep with her. <laughs> if you say that, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sleep at her house. <laughs> 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 Guys, it's a sad day. I oh, know. We're missing our friend. We have to you can stay. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, oh, they need to board. I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, is there a way people can find you if they do come um, here and visit? Um, you can, can give me a number. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will list her number I, down below. I am, I am on a on a site, but. Uh, that's um, Curacao leading okay. taxi and tour. I will write it down. Okay, okay yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WhatsApp us and we'll put it down as well. Yay. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Thank you. Well, guys, Curacao's been good. We're gonna miss it. So fun. Time to board our ship. Another ship of broken. Yeah, Explorer of the Seas is over there. That's awesome. Now to head on back. Good. You want us to? Say what? Can you we get you? Say? Yeah, can we get you on our video? Dude, that is so sweet. <laughs> that is awesome. Nice. Look at these two. Oh, it's Hawaiian night. <laughs> Cribby night. Okay, but your shirt wins by far. Oh my gosh, yeah, let's get y'all. Look at these three. We need to get you a leg. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> This All is right, amazing. Yes, okay. Bye. Bye. You have your key? Huh? Oh no. I have my key. Oh, you have. <laughs> You're gonna save us. Okay, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh yeah. my gosh, you guys. Wow. Yeah. Not only is it tropical, but he's got puppies on it. I too. know, I was gonna say, we have a little dog, and he's like our world. So, your dog, or your shirt, seriously, it's dog. the best. You're do you dog. have a dog? What kind of dog do you have? It's uh, mixing. Okay. Uh, Shih Tzu with uh, Balinese dog. Oh. Uh, wow. Shih Tzu normally small, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Because it's mixed, it's big like this. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah, and the, the hair is very groomy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. You guys, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Good night.
All around. <laughs> hey, don't get him starting to dance. He won't stop. <laughs> you guys, we seriously have the best stateroom attendant. He is awesome. And what else is awesome is, so apparently they're playing some Caribbean music in the promenade tonight. And you definitely cannot miss our crew coming through. <laughs> Shell yeah. delivered hey, on the lake. We decided to keep it classy tonight. Yeah, we're keeping it classy. How fun is this though? Are you gonna get all dressed up Caribbean style? I mean, not a better place than a cruise ship to dress like this in my opinion, babe. Oh, heck no. Behind the scenes footage, the making of Brit and Jared. In their natural habitat. Let's follow Jared around and see what he does. Jared likes to dance half of the day. <laughs> There's Jared and Britt in their natural habitat. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> It's time for the best part of the night, eating food! <laughs> we love coming to the main dining room here. It's been a little bit different on this cruise because we eat quite a bit later than usual. But it's also been a ton of fun because we're able to stay out late at the ports, come back, relax, hang out for a little bit, get a pre-dinner. Then we get to do more activities, so we get to explore the ship quite a bit, which has been awesome. Now we're all gussied up. I like saying that because Brittany teased me about that once before. Speaking of the ship, you guys, we are going to be doing an awesome tour tomorrow. So make sure you guys drop below any comments you guys have or questions you guys have about the ship because we will show you. Tonight on the menu, guys, I got two lobster bisque. I said that correctly. He did. I got a smoked chicken citrus salad. Ooh, with fennel. And and I got two. Sisters got the same thing. What's new? Here we have the lace scallop. Oh, pina colada. That's good. And okay. pina colada. Uh, and a simple salad. Oh, I'm a simple man, Jerry. Very simple man. <laughs> <laughs> then for my entree, I got risotto. Brittany got spaghetti. No, I got a seafood linguine, and then Shell and I are also sharing a, it's a butternut squash risotto with Caesar beef. How good does that look, you guys? Shell got chicken marsala. Mm. I also got chicken marsala, Ooh. and I'm sharing this risotto with myself. <laughs> and for dessert tonight, I got an apple blossom and an apple crumble. And shocker. I got cheesecake. Oh, what did Michelle get? Cheesecake. I got an apple blossom to share. Oh, blossom to share. <laughs> you got this cheesecake though, it has a red velvet bottom. So I'm really interested. Yeah, layer. <laughs> Dinner was delicious. Moving on to dessert. Oh, and Nate. This here is called Eaton Ness, which mm. sounds kind of like a crazy name. It's strawberries and cream, I guess. And then with a meringue on top. The meringue. Ooh. Yeah. All right, bon appetit, everyone. Cheers. Oh God. <laughs> better. Thank you guys so much for coming on Brittany's mouth. You guys have been so kind, so nice. You guys, my cankers are starting to heal, so I am feeling yes. better. Today is a sea day, so we've basically been hanging out on the ship. Brittany has been doing a little bit more hanging out than I have. You guys, Jared, this is the first time he's been out, and it's like <laughs> 5 o'clock, because this guy has yeah. been editing two videos today. Yeah, Just I'm so attempting, I'm attempting. He's attempting to, which speaking of videos, if you guys missed our video yesterday, the day before, we visited Aruba and Cure and it was incredible. Seriously amazing. Curacao and Aruba.
Aruba are so beautiful. I keep saying that like this is the best beach we've ever been to and then we go to another beach and it's like this is the best beach we've ever been and to. And it just gets better and yeah. better. So make sure you go check out those videos but as Jared mentioned, <laughs> oh the Caribbean music just stopped. Oh here it goes again. Anyways we have been having a ton of fun today. We really just relaxed right up here. I turned my chair around I was looking at the ocean for the majority of the day. Today is a little hot. Usually it's really windy if you guys yeah. remember. My hair's going everywhere. There's like no wind today. So yeah, literally very, none very right hot. now. The pools were packed today because it was so hot. This is the most empty I've ever seen the pool deck and yes, it is like a scorcher right now. And I think it's because we're not moving as fast. Usually we're moving 30 knots, but today it's almost like a slow crawl and I think it's because our destination is pretty close. Yes, you guys, our next destination, we are so excited that we have never been to, so make sure you come back tomorrow for that. But we thought this would be the perfect day to do a little tour of the ship. We know we've shown you some of it, but we want to just do a brief overview, show you the beautiful lure of the seas, which so many of you guys guessed it right. Yes, we are on a lure of the seas. It's an Oasis class ship here on Royal Caribbean, and the Oasis class ships are our favorite. Guys, they are awesome, mainly because they are so wide. It's almost like two cruises put side by side. They are massive. And then they're also very, very long. So this whole ship is almost 1,200 feet long. It's 200 feet in width, and it's 17 decks high on this particular ship. Yes, you guys, and our ship today is actually almost at full capacity. We were talking with one of our servers yesterday, and he said there's just a little over 5,000 guests on our ship right now, which is crazy with 2,300 crew members, which means this is almost a floating city. It really is, and it's incredible what they do, And but yet, it doesn't feel overly crowded. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been saying this is an ABC cruise, because we went to Aruba, we went to Curacao, so of course, Bonaire's gotta be next. That's right. But, no, no, it's no. not. It's not next. This is not an ABC cruise. It's an AC cruise, you could say. <laughs> but it's not Bonaire. <laughs> you guys, we're also so excited because we have a special treat for you oh in today's my tour. Oh gosh. We are going to be touring one of the suites here on the ship, which we are so excited about. Not just any suite, but a loft suite. A loft suite. So the two-story street. So make sure you stick around. <laughs> right now, we're up on deck 16. This is the upper pool deck, and you can tell we're in the lounge stairs. This is probably our favorite deck to come yes. hang out on, for sure. Usually there's a breeze up here. One kind of fun fact, these circular pools are actually cold. We always thought they were hot tubs, and at least the ones we just felt, they were cold pools. So I was like, people are crazy for getting in hot tubs right now, but they feel cold. So they just have like jets or something. If you guys know more about that, let us know down below, but that's what I kind of found out. That's so cool. I know we mentioned this in a previous video, but usually the water slides are tucked over back right here. And because it's Lure of the Seas, they do not have the water slides. You guys remember how much fun I had on those water slides on Symphony of the Seas, but I will admit, it took forever to wait in line for those slides. Yeah, so if you have kiddos and that's a big deal, we'd probably say Allure is not the ship for you. Now we are walking into the Solarium, and this is an adults only place. That's one question we get a lot is, are there areas that are just adults only? Yes, there are. And there are areas that are only for kids. Yeah, and only for kids, <laughs> so it's kind of best of both worlds. This is a really cool area of the ship. As you can tell, it's covered with this glass. There's tons of little coves and places you can relax. You always see people in here just like reading. It's more quiet than the other parts of the ship. Tons of different age levels, different things they can do in here. Now we're going 
to the sun decks at the front of the ship, you guys. Just follow the signs on deck 14. Kind of leads you into a hallway with rooms, but you'll see it at the end. It's surrounded by glass. Whoa, this is incredible. Wow, usually it's <laughs> super windy out here, so this is awesome. I'm packed with people, you guys. This is like our own private tour. There is no one here right now. Look at this, look at this. No one there, completely by herself. One guy right there. This is unreal. Oh my gosh, baby. I'll never let go. See ya. How, <laughs> Just how many times do you think people do that when they walk here? Oh, yeah, every single time. Every single you guys, time. And then if you look out, here is the front of the ship. <gasps> my right gosh, the look at that. Pad. That's the helicopter pad. That is so wow. Cool. Now, I would actually like to go there. I don't know how you get there. They used to do tours of the captain's bridge, but since COVID, they no longer do that anymore, sadly. I know. But maybe one day we'll be able to make it in there because we think that'd be really, really cool to see that part of the ship. That would be seriously so much fun. So growing up, I did a few cruises with my family and we actually did do a tour of the captain's bridge and it was so cool. Even though that was several years ago, decades ago <laughs> I still remember it and I remember how much fun it was this is a perfect place to come see like the sunset sunrises even pulling in and out of port this place is awesome you guys look at this the sun's coming it's a storm's cut blowing in this way we actually haven't <laughs> had a big storm on the cruise yet but I'm seeing lightning over that way and then you see the beautiful sun shining down out there I mean this is heavy. this is incredible You don't even have to go to New York for Central Park, baby. It's right here on the cruise line. Caribbean. That's right. Guys, this park is insane. So all these plants right here, a lot of you guys have been commenting, are they real or are they fake? They're actually all real. They're, they are real. And our, on our last ship, Symphony, there are actually birds in here. I haven't yeah. seen any on this, but you can definitely hear the crickets that they put in, the sound. So yeah, it's totally super cool. The great outdoors which is awesome. So within Central Park, you guys, they have a ton of specialty restaurants, there's shops in here, tons of places you can come sit. There's been quite a few concerts out here, which has been so awesome. It's beautiful, lit up at night. If you guys have seen our previous videos, we've shown a ton of Central Park in them, but just an Ooh. overall really cool place to come and, and hang out. And then one little hidden gem, a lot of people don't know about this. So inside of this thing right here, it just looks like a regular little post. Yeah. But if you actually look down inside of it, they have a little sculpture of you guys three little see that? people oh and my a gosh. dog. It picks it up on the camera. Look how cool that is. Was that you that found that? Yeah, oh yeah. That was me. That was you that found that. So, Isn't that so cool? kind of a it's cool kind of little fun. theme. Here's one of the specialty restaurants. Now we have not actually eaten at a specialty restaurant yet, just because we love the main dining that much, but we hear they are fabulous. Yeah, we so hear they're amazing. Let us know if you have any favorite specialty dining restaurants because we definitely want to try one soon. This is so cool. I mean, look at this garden they have here in Central Park. Remember, we're on a cruise ship right now. <laughs> This is a cruise ship. It's beautiful. I mean, look at this. Amazing. So gorgeous. It's Pictures so in here would be look awesome. See the balconies on each side. Yeah, so there's rooms that face this, or you can get the rooms that face out towards the ocean. Right in front of here, you guys, is something that's really cool on the ship. It, they have a floating bar, so it actually <laughs> raises up different floors and lowers, which is really So cool. it starts down at the promenade, so it's down there right now, and it comes up and it lets people on and off right here. So cool. Speaking of cool, one of you guys actually saw our last video about wanting to go see the suites on board this ship. Well, guess what, you guys? One of you is actually on board this ship right now. Yes, you guys. So Jim reached out to us. He said he saw us getting on the ship and filming, and he has followed our YouTube channel. He is the nicest guy, you guys. He was like, hey, if you guys want to see a suite, I'm staying one. You are welcome to come up and tour it. So we're on our way right now to go tour one of the loft suites here on the ship. We cannot wait to see it. Jared's like a kid on Christmas morning. This is seriously so incredibly nice and thoughtful of him to invite us into his own room on his vacation time. I know, you this guys. This is incredible. He I messaged mean, us over 
over on Instagram and we get so many messages on there yeah. and if we've never messaged before, you guys may not know this, but it goes to a certain folder yeah. and there's hundreds of messages in there and I just happened to see it. So I am so glad <laughs> that I did because this is so incredibly generous yeah. of him this, to let us come Oh through. my gosh, and we've always wanted to go see a suite and now we get to go see it. Like, we cannot thank you enough. Yes, let's go. <laughs> You realize how amazing this is? Like, oh, yeah. No, I didn't. This is <laughs> incredible. Wow. Two showers? <laughs> and then with a rain head in the middle. What? Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh. Had the rain in the middle. Yeah, wow. This is so cool. <laughs> Hey guys, we just finished up with that tour. Uh... Oh my goodness. First of all, Jim is the nicest guy ever. Seriously, yeah. we sat and talked with him for a while. He yeah, has like almost an hour life story. My gosh, he recently retired from the Air Force. He was in it for 30 years. He 30 years. He's traveled all around. You guys, he's been on over 40. Yes, 40. 40 cruises. cruises. 42 to be exact. How is that and he says now that he's retired he already i think he has six books just this year <laughs> yeah. how amazing is that so we were so picking cool. his brain getting like all oh, of yeah. his favorite places he's been in everything like he did he said that one of his favorite cruises is actually out of sydney and went yes. around new zealand how awesome would that be yeah and also he's gonna be doing a river cruise which is something we wanted to do mm -hmm. mediterranean like anyways he was so so nice oh insanely nice thank you again jim for yeah. messaging us for reaching out and being so nice to us Seriously. that was unbelievably kind of you i don't know if you guys realize but he is also on vacation and the fact that you shared that experience with us is incredible so thoughtful and nice you guys in that room was insane i mean you guys see how excited we get about this amazing balcony yeah. but having a balcony was like twice as big and so tall sweet like that there were so many cool aspects to it oh two, bathrooms two bathrooms two bathrooms with like big big showers Huge bathrooms. one of the showers had two shower heads on each side and then a rain shower in the middle how cool so is that cool. Upstairs in the loft area, they had a huge bed. The TV came down from the ceiling, which was really cool. And then there was that curtain you could pull back yeah. to see the two story windows that overlooked the ocean. Like, I cannot believe that. Incredible. Vaulted ceilings with a loft? Like, oh what? Gosh. On a cruise ship? And then the veranda outside with those lounge chairs. Jeremy made himself right at home. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh wow, <laughs> that is crazy. He's like, Jim, I gotta just try one of these out. I and know, I was so like, nice. Jim, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance like this, so I gotta take it. <laughs> also, in those suites, he was telling us that the couch folds out to a bed, so a lot of families will get yeah. one of those. Kids can sleep downstairs, parents upstairs. Yeah. The stairway, just everything. Like, it was just mind-blowingly yeah. beautiful. 
such a cool opportunity to be in a suite. We've seen a few videos of them yeah, before, but never, never had a chance to be in one. Never experienced one ourselves. Yeah, it was wow. incredible. So Jim, thank you again. That was so nice of you. You guys, everyone tell Jim thank you for the yes. awesome tour. Thank so, Jim. so nice. Now, we're not gonna give you a tour of our room right now. We actually did a full room tour on our first video when we got on the ship, so we'll link that video here if you wanna see our stateroom. We did get the stateroom with the extended balcony, which has been so nice. Game changing. Like, so spacious. It comes with a table, two chairs. We absolutely love it. So anyways, we will go through our whole room again. Go watch that video if you're interested. This is the floating bar, you guys. We talked about this earlier in the video, but this is the bottom part of it. So we are walking along the Royal Promenade right now. This is the famous Mercedes. This is actually one of the very first things when you board the ship that you see. You guys, the promenade is amazing. I mean, check out the lights above here. There's always fun stuff going on. And then you can flip around here. You got the big grand staircase back there. Tons of shops restaurants along here. There's just so much to see and do. Funny enough, we actually get a lot of questions on whether or not food and drinks are included. So food is actually included except for the specialty restaurants. So restaurants like this, this cafe, as well as Sorrento's, the famous like pizza place, those are all included. And the Sorrento's is open, is it open 24 seven? I think so. I feel like it's open all the time. I don't know, I feel like we go there all the time. <laughs> service there is I think an eight dollar charge for each room service but the food is free other than that. We got this soda package so you can go to any bar on the ship and get soda there or they also have the Coke freestyle machines which are our favorite. <laughs> Guys, there are so many fun things to do here on the Royal Promenade. They have all sorts of shops here where you can buy just about anything you can think of. There's tons and tons of like merchandise that you can buy from Royal Caribbean. They also have a place here called On Air. It's really popular for karaoke nights. And then they have another like bar hangout area called Solaris, which is really fun for like dancing, listening to live music. You guys, we need to start getting ready for dinner, but I had to come bring you out here to check out the beautiful sunset. So the storm is passing by. You can tell over there it's pretty rainy and cloudy, but then the sun right now is setting right smack dab in the middle of our room. Honestly, just being able to watch the sun set and rise over the ocean makes cruising totally worth it. Not to mention everything else we've showed you in today's video. But man, it is absolutely beautiful. Guys get here. Oh, yeah. oh, We're on a cruise with you. Jared, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've been doing the tour of the ship. We've been with Nate Michelle a ton. I know. We have missed you guys. Now, yeah, what'd you guys do today? We were at the pool. They played like the sports all day long. We did a little bit of everything. Ooh. We hit the sport court for some basketball. Surfed Ooh. for a while. Shot out at the pool. Heck yeah. Pretty excellent. Then we watched a movie. <laughs> you guys did. Yeah, we watched oh, a yeah. movie together, classic with, movie. With Nora, like in the afternoon, we never just watch a movie. So we did. So fun. Yeah, That's so we cool. Our screen time, so we don't really hang out and watch shows together when Nora's around. <laughs> <laughs> and Nate, by the way, he dropped in on the Flow Rider from the top. Yeah, big time. You guys getting proof. <laughs> <laughs> Professional here. Yeah, no one was there, so we don't really know. <laughs> oh, oh, so there's no witnesses. 
Yeah. Did a kick flip. <laughs> tonight, you guys, we are all super excited because tonight is lobster night. Oh here in the yeah! Dining you know what that means? Unlimited lobster. Unlimited lobster, and um, so we just placed our order. Nate just got his drink. Woo! That looks super good. We got a strawberry virgin daiquiri. strawberry daiquiri. Yeah. Delicious. Looking good. He got a pina colada last night. Yep. How's this compare? Right. Yeah, it's how delicious. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. In fact, if you guys want to see more of their cruise life, go on over to City Burgers on Instagram because they have been living it up. For appetizer, we got caprese. I think all of us got caprese, so that was easy. And then we also got a shrimp cocktail here with. Nate. My life is complete. <laughs> Guys, I got two lobster tail and actually two more coming. <laughs> Nate got a lobster got shell. One. I'm gonna try it. I don't shell. think I like it. What'd you get there? Eggplant? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So it's gonna be your first time having lobster then. Yes. Okay, all right. And Brittany got lobster as well. Yes, I did. He's so excited. I know. It looks really, really good. Guys, the lobster was amazing. We all got seconds. It was so delicious. And now we all have the exact same desserts. We got the chocolate molten cake. This thing is very, very good. And we also got the... Baked Alaska. Yeah, which I don't even, I'm not really sure. But I've never really had one of these. Yeah. I've heard about them, but I've never tried one. So apparently it's Neapolitan ice cream with a cake, and then this yeah, is a meringue good. on top. That looks really good. had a knock on the door and look who it was. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me, Shell? Jared and Brett work so hard to get videos out for you every day. Well, it's mainly Jared, but yeah. But they don't even have time to like usually go to get breakfast before we leave for the island. This is awesome. I'm oh getting pretty good gosh. at plating it. Seriously, look at this. This is incredible. Look at this plating job. Oh my gosh, look at the donut. We've got waffle, hash brown, bacon, eggs. Holy cow, fresh fruit. I think we got need to go on a cruise every time we selling there. You guys look at this backdrop. Seriously, Jared's been editing here for the past three hours since like 6 a.m. this morning. Oh yeah. And we are now in front of Haiti right here. Going to the port this morning was seriously so cool. It totally reminded me of when I was a kid and I would go on cruises with my parents and standing up top with my mom and dad. It was just awesome. Oh, that's awesome, baby. So nice. You're so welcome. Same time tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just walked off the cruise ship to the most gorgeous view. The mountains here are stunning. <laughs> the water's glistening. Oh my gosh, we are so, so excited for today. This part of Haiti is actually owned by Royal Caribbean. And so everything is pretty much taken care of, which is so nice. Okay, this place just gets unreal pretty. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. They got music playing right now. It's so cool. And then take a look at the ship in behind us. Wow, that thing is a beast. It looks so cool looking. So Michelle and Nate are already on the island. They got an early start this morning. Jared had to finish editing. So we're gonna go meet up with them. But you guys, we are so excited for today. I cannot believe how big the cruise ship is. I mean, this is such a cool perspective of it. I don't think we've ever gotten a perspective like this before of an Oasis class ship. But this is unreal right now. And to see Haiti, this is Labadee right here. So obviously this is like really done up to the nines because it's owned by Real Caribbean. The water is just so turquoise, so blue. The mountain ranges are just amazing to look at. I love that. We absolutely 
love that Royal Caribbean has their own little private section. Yeah, it's so because cool. Because they provide lunch, food, drinks, everything yeah. right here on the island. In fact, we nice. brought our drink cups. If yeah. you guys have them, bring them. You can fill them yeah. up. They have a ton of activities you can choose from. They have a huge zip line. Yeah. Because we booked this cruise so last minute, it says sold out, but we're going to go over there and see if we can possibly get on it. <laughs> I think the world's largest yeah. zip line I, over the ocean. I would love to do it if we can. We'll see. It's really, really cool. They also have tons of beaches here, water activities, things like that. We brought our... Yeah, yeah. Vehicle. You guys know we love that. Yeah. <laughs> oh guys, we just got to Haiti and look who we ran into. Hey guys, <laughs> how's it going? Good morning. Good to see you guys. <laughs> These two came out early. They're the early birds on this vacation <laughs> for sure. They came and scoped everything out. They even reserved some beach chairs. Ooh. Yeah, we are awesome. We're a long day at the beach. Yeah, we are also doing some jet ski fleet. And then this chair right here, you guys, reminds us so much of Florida. I mean, they have these everywhere, as you guys know, especially in Fort Lauderdale. Look at that little slice of home, Britt, huh? I know, I feel right back at home right now. And then over here, it looks like this is where the buffets are. And yeah. This is actually quite a bit smaller than Coco Cake. Yeah, right? significant, it's yeah. A lot, lot smaller, but check it out. That's the zip line right there going. Oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. So it ends here and it starts all the way up there. You can kind of just barely see it. Apparently it's the longest zip line in the Caribbean. And I gotta say, it's pretty dope. It goes over the ocean, over the beach. It's insane. So this right here, you guys, is the tram that you take to get to the other side of the island. You can also walk there. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to walk there, but the tram is obviously a lot faster, a lot easier. Wow, you guys, this is <laughs> breathtaking. I love this way you're looking at the ocean and and if you turn around, you're looking at the beautiful green mountains, which this is the first island on this cruise that it's been this green, I feel like. Yeah, this is super green. Are pretty desert, desert yeah. cactus all around, but this one's very lush. It looks like a green, which is awesome. So inside here, guys, they got tons of like covered areas so you can sit down, relax. They're gonna have a huge barbecue here, but then they also have these drink stations. <laughs> <laughs> full of water, fruit punch. This is all free, included with the ticket of a cruise, obviously. This is awesome. This so is nice. exactly what we needed. Yeah, so nice. I gotta say, these are matching your swimsuit almost perfectly. I like it. Yeah. She got this swimsuit over on Amazon. We will link it down for you. It's like under $30. Under $30? What? I love it. That's a great deal. I know. Yeah, it looks good. They're coming down literally right this second. So right up there, you can see the tower at the top of the mountain. It's all the way over the ocean. It's <laughs> Guys, look at that. Oh my gosh, they can almost touch the water. That is so sick. Look at that. Wow. That would be awesome. Whoa, they're coming in hot. Look at this, they're flying. Oh man, if only we would have booked this I know. earlier. We're gonna check and see if by chance we can get off. We'll that see. would be awesome. And speaking of awesome, check out this beach. This is insane. So right now we're here. We just got off the ship and we're taking a little tram back to here at this point. That is cold. cool. <laughs> oh, here we go. This, you guys, is the start of the town square. They got live Caribbean music playing. Oh yeah, I like that. We're rolling into the Artisan's Market. Tons of shopping right there. One thing that's just pretty awesome about Haiti is that they have so many amazing like pictures, paintings, all types of artwork here. We'll definitely yeah. want to come back and walk the shops oh, and see what they have to offer. Yeah. It looks awesome. Just got to the cove. Nate and Michelle were so sweet and came out here earlier and reserved us some beach chairs. Look at this entrance right here. Look you got the massive cruise ship in the background, these beautiful umbrellas, beach chairs. We're on the second row. This is gonna be so much fun. These umbrellas and <laughs> chairs may look familiar if you saw yeah. our cruise 
deals at Coco Cay. Same beach chair, same umbrellas. This looks like a heavenly beach. Wow, the, that's that sand, oh my gosh, it's so soft. The sand is so soft. Oh. <laughs> Not sure if you guys can hear me or not, but this is definitely not a good beach for snorkeling. <laughs> it's really, really bad. It goes super deep, super fast, and the visibility down here is like almost zero. Guys, this is crazy. We're maybe like 30 feet from shore, and it just drops drastically. We can't see the bottom, and it's like, I bet it's like 100 feet down right here. <laughs> I don't know what beach is. Being here with my sister, look at the backdrop of the ship. I know, look no at that. husbands around. Alright, see ya. Oh my god, can you believe it's coming to an end? No. I feel like cruises each day, you feel like you have so much time, you do so much, the day's so long, but then it goes by so quick. I know. Especially the second half. Yeah, yeah the second half goes quick. It's gone really, really fast. But I man. still remember when you were talking about going to Aruba and you're like, oh my gosh, you have so much time left. And I was like, trust me, the second we go there and come back, everything's going to go so quickly. have the buffet line right here and they have a ton of these little huts all around some pre-made salads watermelon Whoa, salad great. that's kind of like what i make hey with the feta looks like they got caesar Pasta delicious salad. oh yeah they even got a pasta salad too that looks awesome definitely gonna take one of these watermelon ones yeah i got some caribbean rice here rice Corn on the cob, watermelon. And we got hot dogs here. You know it's a good day when you got a hot dog. We got hamburgers, they're grilling them fresh right back here. Looks like we got cheeseburgers and some jerk chicken. Ooh, I'm gonna get a piece of that. And we even got desserts, cookies. Ooh, looks like we have coconut macaroons. We got cheese bread, chocolate cake, macaroons, banana rum cake, that looks awesome. And then tons of fresh fruit. Nate and I decided to come up here, explore this little lookout point. We thought it went a lot higher. This is as far <laughs> as it goes. We thought it went all the way up there, but it does not. <laughs> but the view is still cool nonetheless from about 10 feet up. <laughs> the lunch was really good though. I liked it a lot. They had some really good barbecue going on there. The chicken was bomb. I it was all pretty, liked that a lot. Yeah. pretty good, honestly. Yeah. We've consistently been surprised at how good the food is on the yeah. cruise everywhere we've gone. Yeah, literally everywhere you go, the food is really, really delicious. Now it's super hot, probably hop in the water here in a little bit, but this is like a perfect place to just chill and relax. Just have some bro time, right yeah, Jared? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Best friend time. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Baby, how did you like lunch? Oh, you guys, it was good. I had a burger <laughs> and a hot dog. Yeah. Tons of watermelon. The pasta salad was yeah, so it was good. really good. And they had a watermelon really salad good. too. That was really good. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, good. speaking of good, I mean, look how really good my wife looks you with this backdrop. Hello. You guys, this <laughs> backdrop. I can't get over it. It is just so beautiful. <laughs> the mountains, the ship, the bright blue water. Yeah, like, this is unreal. I can just 
stay right there all day. There is like zero wind here and like zero waves. It's perfect for just chilling, relaxing, and just hanging out. And I'm going to do that because in a couple <laughs> hours, we are not going to be chilling. <laughs> no. Right over there on jet I know. This guy, we're debating whether he kind of wants to film, so I may drive. I know, and Brittany switch. likes to go slow, and luckily this water is so still and so calm yeah, that I don't think you're going to have to worry about there being a whole lot of bumps. It's true, which I like. like yeah. I will do that all day. Jared yeah. has big bumps that yeah. I'm sure you guys will. So, anyways, I think we're going to hang out here just to soak in some sun before we get those jet skis. I noticed that you guys were actually out here and then you moved inward. I know, tons of people have been getting stung by jellyfish, including Shell and Nate. Wait, you got stung too, Shell? Yeah, Shell did too. I didn't know that. I thought it was like a bite from on shore. And then now, oh. it's it definitely a jellyfish. jellyfish is no looking. no way. I just got stung and it really burns. You can actually really? see the little tentacle Oh my gosh, yeah, you can totally see that. Arm. Okay. All along here, and it's you just like that? stinging like crazy oh on my, my gosh, dude. Too. Right here in the back of my calf, right here, you can all see the same little red marks. Little and oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. So it stings, it's like a bug bite, yeah. But it's honestly not like as bad as a bee sting, but it still stings. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm surprised there's not like a jellyfish sign. Did you guys see a jellyfish sign? I didn't see one. That's interesting. Yeah, a lot of people, it's really thinned out. Like, there's not nearly as many people as there used to be. Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry. You can't even see them. I think they're just see-through. I was looking around, but I couldn't see Yeah. Them. That's interesting, because I actually felt something similar. A little sting. Yeah, and I thought maybe it was like a mosquito bite or something, but... I'm guessing that's what it was. Wow. But that's not keeping us out of the water, you guys, because it is a hot one today. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's a scorcher. Zero wind. Zero wind. This is the perfect weather for paddle boarding and jet skiing. I know. <laughs> so apparently the lifeguards here have like some sort of vinegar to give that helps out with the jellyfish stings. Oh wow. Okay. Just spray a little bit on there. Can you have a glass? So that's gonna help out? Yeah. Okay. How long does it usually take so you feel better? One or two minutes. Oh wow. Okay. I try spraying some on my legs too. Oh yeah, you can actually see it right there. Yeah. I don't know if it's hard to pick up on the camera, but I can see it for yeah, sure. You can see the little red, red yeah. right there. Alright dude, hey, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Yeah, it. All good. I'll see if Michelle still yeah. wants to hug me because smelling like vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, Jared, Jared just got in to go get sand up and he got stung on his bum. I just to get the sand out of my pants and I got stung right, right in between. On his behind. It stings like crazy. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is this place still in there? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I hope not! Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is so uncomfortable! <laughs> <laughs> in the water! Yeah, maybe go in the water, babe! Look at him! Poor <laughs> guy! <laughs> 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 I know we shouldn't be laughing, but it's so oh, funny. I'm sorry, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> Some girls came out just barely again and said how they got stung too. Oh. We've got our safety briefing for the jet oh, ski. Yeah. Jared is driving. <laughs> our life jacket is on. Our life jackets on. Heck yeah, baby. My life and I know. Right he was asking if any of you guys are like yeah. comfortable at driving high speeds. I said yes. He said, okay, you're gonna be the first person. I was like, no. I should have said I was bad. That way you be in the back. Well, he's asking <laughs> you can switch positions throughout yeah. the course. So we will see you, but look at these two guys. Guys, this is amazing. This is so nice. So we did book this through Royal Caribbean. Yeah. That's all you can do here. On yeah, that's like new here, but, but it's a, not that, actually that bad of a deal. Yeah, so. Yeah, we'll considering see. what you can get in Florida. We'll let you know how it goes <laughs> if I make it. Shell, Nate, you guys ready? We're so ready. Yeah, yeah. Are you a little nervous? Not at all. Not at all? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to be hearing Michelle screaming on this. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Michelle and Jared. I feel like they're a little nervous. So it's so soft-spoken right now. <laughs>
I'm the one that should be nervous with this guy driving me. Yeah. Oh boy. I told him he has to pay attention to the safety briefing. He did. I and did. not break any rules. I did fall. That can be very hard for these being a men. <laughs> Babe, this is gonna be so much fun. How excited and nervous are you at the same time? I was like 50-50. 50 50? Yeah. I am beyond excited. It's gonna be fun. How many times do you think I can throw you off? <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Comment down below how many times you guys think we're gonna tip. I'm gonna be good. I'll be nice. Holy cow, they got jet skis for days here. Look at this. Oh, one's over here. Okay. There she is. Lucky number one. Put your feet right in there. Alright, you guys raw. <laughs> we're the leaders. We're showing them We're the leaders! Look at this. We got the cruise ship in the background. This is Woo! awesome. This is so cool, you guys. I Shell Nate, how was it? So much fun. Yeah, you liking and it? We topped out there for a while. It was yeah. awesome. such a blast. That's dope, dude. Good <laughs> That's cool. Babe, how you doing with me? Good. <laughs> My butt hurts so bad. <laughs> yeah, Brittany said that her butt hurts pretty bad while doing this. I was telling her she should drive. How this works, you guys, is that it's $110 per driver and then only $30 for the passenger. So it's about $140, but you're together for an hour, a little bit over an hour. It's like an hour and 15 minutes, which is totally worth it because back in Fort Lauderdale, I swear it's like $200, $300 for, only, for one hour. So this is a steal. <laughs> Think, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> it's a bumpy out here. Yeah, it's way bumpy. The waves are huge, but it's seriously so much fun. I mean, look at that. The ship in the background is so sick. This water is unreal. Babe, how you doing back there with me? I'm okay. You dying? <laughs> we went on one bump so big and Jared stood up and he forgot. I had to hold on to him and I almost blew off. But it's fun. It's been amazing, you guys. This is seriously worth every penny. Adios. <laughs> Got room for one more? Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, my glasses! <laughs> you guys, look at this. We're literally in front of the cruise ship right now. <laughs> How awesome this is this? Is dope. Wow, oh my man. gosh. Thank this you. doesn't get much better than this right now. I'll have to fill you guys in on my situation after the tour. <laughs> but this is insane. for sure so beautiful. <laughs> And painful like my dad, <laughs> but beautiful. <laughs> so look at that. Oh my gosh. So babe, would you do it again? Never again with Jerry. <laughs> she said she's only gonna do solo rides from now on. Yes. Being a I was going is slow. Not as fun I was going slow. You get all the bumps. You're I know. On to him. Brittany didn't like sitting in the back. <laughs> she said it's really bumpy back there. It's so bumpy, but not only that, I had a ton of sand in my swimsuit that I did not know. Yeah. And getting on there, you guys, the paint, it felt like. Sandpaper, she said. Sandpaper, but burning. Like, I was like, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Get us. I can't we need imagine. to stop so I can jump in and get this off me. Once I got the sand out, we got to swim for a little bit. Yeah, it was enjoyable. But then we well, were halfway done. Well, then we hit the big waves. And that was awesome. And I felt like I was, oh. I was going slow on those waves. But I really was. But it does not feel like that for the passenger at all. Guys, check out this. I've never seen this before. So we're walking back to the ship right now, which is epic, by the way. But there's a helicopter pad 
literally right in front of us. I can't imagine helicopters landing right here, but apparently they do. And guys, look at the ship right there. That thing is just beastly. Holy cow, that's like a planet. Now let's literally get a planet. Nate's thoughts on the... Oh, okay, yeah, let's get your thoughts real quick. I was so stoked. It was just so much gnar. So <laughs> So chill. Just shredding the gnar, baby. It was a beautiful way to see the coastline. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, it was beautiful, but painful. <laughs> Beautiful but painful. I think Michelle also maybe was a little nervous along with Brittany. We heard a couple screams, a couple shrieks yeah. from the back. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to get some air on the waves successfully sometimes. So. I think I think I saw you guys get some pretty good air. Yeah, we were getting we were ramping up on the waves. We we're getting some air for sure. So, worry, some gnar. I, I had to hit Nate too. I just stomach Nate. <laughs> She's like, some Nate Burger. Some yeah. gnarly air. <laughs> We also got a ton of really cool stories, so yeah, make sure you guys are following us. Oh it was really, God. really fun. Nate was just pointing out, look at the size of the anchor right there. This that thing is insane. Insane, it's huge. My goodness, this ship is just so freaking large. So the Alert of the Seas is part of the Oasis class, which started with the Oasis of the Seas. And it just basically means that these are like beasts of ships. They're super, super wide, super long, very high. So what's crazy too, you're talking about is they carted all the food for the island. Yeah. Is that not crazy? Do you see these little trolleys? Yeah, like, all the food. They drink, everything like that. They cut it in from the ship for the day, which is crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. So much goes into it. to someone that a ton of you have been waiting a long time to see. I think he's back in our room. Let's see if he's here. Jared? Oh, yes. Oh! Welcome to the cruise, everyone. <laughs> we got cruise, Jared. <laughs> no, I should have worn this the entire time. Oh my gosh, he brought out the white outfit. Has he ever looked more in his element? I do not think so. Ahoy, Nate! Ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> He is already decked out from head to toe in his white outfit. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, there's some inside jokes with this outfit. Jared had wanted this ever since we moved to Florida. It was in this gift shop. And every time we walked by, he's like, oh, man, I really want an all white outfit. And I just laughed and thought it was guys, so funny. I fucking got it. I love wearing it. <laughs> and he has it. He's got the matching fedora and all. Oh, yeah. His ultimate Mr. Florida like this, you could say. Yeah, yeah. And oh, this is Cruise Jared. Yeah, that is Cruise Jared. Maybe we, yeah, that's the name of this outfit, Cruise Jared. What do you yeah. guys think? Yeah. Let us know down below. <laughs> I can't oh take you serious. He loves it so much, I can tell. It's very comfortable, in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> you look comfortable. I'm very flowy. Oh right now. my gosh, yeah, it kind of looks like a giant pajama set. A little bit. You guys, the sun is just setting. You might be able to tell. So today was our last day at sea, which we are so bummed about. The I cruise know. is coming to an end. That's always the worst part about cruises is how fast they go. And they come to an end. If you missed any of our previous videos, you guys, make sure you go back and watch them. And yeah, we had so much fun in Aruba, renting that really cool, awesome Jeep, going oh to that gosh. lighthouse, then visiting that other super shallow beach with the turquoise Baby waters. Baby beach, probably the prettiest Baby beach, beach yeah. I'd say we saw incredible. on the cruise. It was amazing. Then after that, we went to Curacao, went to Punda, saw that beautiful village. Then we went to that awesome secluded beach with those bright turquoise waters. It was absolutely that really amazing. That cool boat in Puerto Marie. Yes, and then finishing off our last stop in Haiti, Labadee, you guys, oh my gosh. So that place was a gem. Those green mountains. We rode jet skis out there right around the beautiful allure of the seas from start to finish. It yeah. has just been so awesome. Every sea day was awesome. Yes, it's all been so beautiful great. Flow riders, oh, And it's been, been so much fun. Line. And it's been so much fun sharing every step of the way with Nate and Michelle seeing their eyes. It was their first cruise ever, yeah. so it's been awesome. Now we are getting ready to head to our last dinner. Jared is wearing this. We're, I'm going to go video him walking I'm, around the cruise ship. I'm like a little this. nervous it's going to get dirty. You <laughs> Maybe we can sit down and now. Yeah. Sit down, yeah. One right here. <laughs> I'm treating this thing like gold. Oh my gosh, you guys <laughs> smash the like button for cruise Jared and if you've had fun.
sun deck, this guy. What's up, buddy oh people? Oh my gosh, seriously. <laughs> He's been dancing in the hallways, dancing up here. So, <laughs> and look at this amazing backdrop. Babe, there's a rain spout right there. I know, it's so cool. Look how beautiful that is. The sun's right behind these clouds right here. The rain spout's right there coming down. Even the heavens are crying over this outfit. Babe, even, oh my gosh. <laughs> he did not just say that. <gasps> also, usually it's super windy up here. Yeah. And so you'd be holding on to that beautiful hat of yours. But luckily. No yeah. wind. It was perfect. It was meant to be. Yeah, this was meant to be, you guys. Cruise Jared. Babe, how does it feel? The cruise is coming to an end. It's sad. It's sad. We may have to book another one. I'll I have to get all white attire every night. <laughs> Every day? <laughs> Seriously? He was so sincere when he was getting ready and I just heard him say, oh, I should have worn this every day of the cruise. Look how good this looks. I freaking love it. He does look really <laughs> cute in it. I will say that. My gosh. So Everyone we pass by, he, they just smile. I mean, how can you not look at this guy right here? <laughs> so we're going to go show it. Nate and Michelle's outfit and then I think the plan is to head to dinner. deck because we probably do not on our last night here the sun is just setting right in front of us it's just coming out of the clouds look how absolutely gorgeous that is i was telling you i think this is the prettiest sunset we've had the entire cruise and somewhere in this and it's magical <laughs> it is magical oh my gosh look at that you guys this is absolutely gorgeous look at the sunbeams coming off of there reminds me of sweet papa bingham yeah. shining down on jer two pops Promenade. This Heck guy yeah, baby. turned on some heads. Here, there guys. is no better place for this outfit than right here. Literally, with the All colorful lights. lights this place is awesome. Oh my gosh. There was a huge vendor on TikTok. This is the cruise outfit. This is the Miami outfit. This is the Ford outfit. It's done. This is the everyday, everyday attire. He's never going to get out of it. What have we done? We created a monster. Here they are, the newlyweds. Wow. Yes, thank you. 
Thank you. Oh, thank Kiss you. the ring. Thank you. Seeing the white elephant. Seeing the white elephant. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you guys, this thing here last night, I think all you guys probably want to know is our thoughts. Ooh, thoughts yes. About the cruise. A friend like messaged me about it. Like, you're on a cruise, and I was like, they're so underrated. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Hands down, they're underrated. I don't have that many, like many people in my circle of friends who have even been on a cruise. Yeah, it's true. You guys are probably the first yeah, probably the only yeah, probably yeah. the first ones. I know we've convinced like a lot of your family now to come yeah, to them. Yeah, so we're like overall, it's just like it. so just like a great mix between relaxing, not worrying about traveling to and from different places. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Which is perfect for us because I feel like we love the beach, but we also love action and yeah. having fun and adventures. So Low riders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we also like they have different events, even if you don't even love adventures. The boat itself is so cool. Yeah. A lot of entertainment sure. options. These guys went to Mama Mia earlier. Yeah. It's good. I was surprised how good it was. Yeah. There's and just something for everyone. That's why we love yeah. this huge world for everyone. Seriously, and that's what I was talking about with Nay is that. Imagine you did like a destination vacation. There's no way you do as much stuff as you did on this week. No way. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way. The beach normally it'd be fun, but we wouldn't do nearly as many things. Yeah. Not only just the activities, but also like the destinations we went to. There's just no way you could. Yeah. Exactly. We would visit three countries. Yeah. There's no way you could do that. Well. We converted them. Yeah. We're cruisers. So when's our next one? I think the cruise life chose us. Ooh. <laughs> and with that, you guys, we're gonna walk one more time through beautiful Central Park and go eat our last dinner. Oh. Jared keeps joking that he's gonna hide on the ship and so he doesn't have to leave. It's so crazy. We were just talking about how literally we'll get off the boat tomorrow at like 8 a.m. and I think another group of cruisers gets on around noon. Yeah. Crazy. And so they turn, they turn over. Around time. It's crazy, crazy. <laughs> Playing music, clapping along. Our appetizers Heck just got yeah. here. We got, I got two orders of coconut shrimp and soda to everyone else. Coconut <laughs> shrimps all around, guys. Our last meal came. That's right. We're going out with the baby. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're the best. <laughs> Perfect. It's been awesome. Yeah, thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. Well, Jared ordered one, two? Yes, well, one's an appetizer, though. It's an entree. <laughs> Lamb shakes. How could do those look? Yeah. They're mashed potatoes, some kind of beans. The thank you. The cheese tortellini. Cheese tortellini. Shelly got fish and chips. Fish and chips, same with me. Cheers to an awesome cruise. Yeah. <laughs> dinner was delicious, so good. Now we have a dinner of entrees. Uh, from... <laughs> we we kind of went all out for dessert, you guys. Yeah. So of course we had to do the apple blossom. We all got one and then we got a few things to share. This is the pavlova, I believe it's called. It has like a lemon curd, berries, and this is a meringue. I'm excited to try this one. We got a cheesecake and then this is a warm brownie. Brownie in a cup. And meringue. So it always tastes good. Yeah, it always tastes good. So this is how it works, you guys. We have the pre-dinner, then we have the actual dinner, then we have a post-dinner. Much, much later. Jerry can hear little game night, and it's been so fun. Name shall introduce us to a new game. It's called Play Night. Play Night. We just got it on Amazon, so Jerry can link it below, but it's super fun. I swear they're rigging it. It's for ages 8 to adult. Like, two to six players. It is seriously so much fun. These guys, like, never hit double digits. You guys will find out why once you play it, but yeah, it's seriously so much fun. It's so fun, and the boys were nice. It's late. Yeah. Hours since we ate, let's just say that. 
but we had to get Ooh, late night pizza. Sorrentos. Sorrentos. Yummy. Last time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we filled up our drink cups. Yes. I don't know of a better way to end our last night. You. Just like that, we're getting off the ship. Oh, <laughs> you guys, the cruise is coming it's to an end. It's been so much fun. We had a sleepover, actually. Ooh. No, we didn't. I wish. <laughs> yeah, I that was fun. So fun. We played games. Yes. Until, like, Michelle yeah. dominated, destroyed. Yes. Michelle did dominate. We played nine rounds of that game. She ended up with nine points. <laughs> One point per round. That's like unheard of. It's all luck. So. I think I averaged. Nine points per game. You guys, it was awesome though. It started pouring rain. There's a lot Yeah, light. it was cool. We were playing out on the balcony. Like, yeah. it was an awesome, awesome We night. had the music playing from the TV. I it was know. a lot of fun. But now we are all packed no. up. We're ready to go. We are back in our hometown of Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. The sunrise this morning I know. was so pretty. Unreal. Like, Super cool. You see, it was like bright red before yeah. the sun even came up. It was dope. It was so pretty. And now I'm looking at the Balleria ferry that goes to the Bahamas. We're here yeah. in Fort Lauderdale. That's one we want to do. I know. Right That's now. something you want to do really bad. Yes, we'll for sure do that. But you guys. <sighs> Man. Wow. Now we got to take out our bags. Yeah. So. If you guys want, you can actually put these little like bag tags on your bag yeah. and you just they will actually take the bags out for you. The night before. Yeah, the night before. We actually just choose to just take them out ourselves just because it's way cool. easier in my opinion. Otherwise, you have to hunt for your luggage down in like the section where that number is. Yeah. And then you have a certain time depending on your number and your bag yeah. that you leave the ship so not everyone's flooding out. Exactly, yeah. So ours is at 8.30. Well, we were thinking about maybe hiding underneath the bed. Yeah, Derek's been looking out yeah. for spots he can hide. <laughs> He's been out all morning. <laughs> but you guys, overall, I mean, we'll give a full recap, but it's been awesome. Yeah, it was so much fun. Now the saddest part. Yeah. Saying bye, bye to the bye. most incredible room attendant <laughs> that ever was. Real creepy and give him a raise. Yeah. Hey, you give us everything. No. <laughs> this guy was amazing. He was seriously so much fun. He was so awesome. And he gets my humor too, which I like. <laughs> Dude, we cannot thank you enough. Yes, seriously. Yeah, you've been incredible. You're thank awesome. You. <laughs> so much fun every morning. Thing is smiling. Yeah. Face. Thank you for the pizza. Thank oh, you for yeah. the cook. Thank you for the everything. Yeah, of course, bro. <laughs> Take care of yourself and your family. Thank you for everything. All right. Thank you. Thank you so I much. see you around the world. Bye, Jared. <laughs> see ya. Don't forget to clean the room, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye, see ya. Have a good one. See you. <laughs> Don't worry, Jared. I got it. Hey, when you're done with those, I got this one in my left hand. All right. Well, guys, Bad day. we're in line. In the promenade right now. It was so nice. Vion came and ran down the hall, yes. takes us to the elevator because I left my phone charger there. I know. How amazing like, is that? How nice is that, you he guys? He's stuck. Real Caribbean. Give him a raise. Give him a daytime leave. Give him a cruise ship. Whatever. He was awesome. Seriously, all the workers here that we came in contact with was just amazing. Oh. They're the sweetest people. The crew here is outstanding. It's awesome. They make the experience what it is. They make everything run smoothly. They do everything for us. Let go of the suitcases and they just glide. Oh, here we go. Oh boy, there's gonna be a crowd. Okay, guys, we just found Nate. He's yeah. at the buffet. Hey, guys. <laughs> we have to drag him out. <laughs> I did get some last pineapple nice. last second. What did you get us? Uh, <laughs> air tacos. <laughs> air tacos. There we go. 
<laughs> Those are the most delicious tacos. We made it out. It's kind of chaotic around yeah, here. Yeah, it is nuts. There's people everywhere just kind of waiting to get out. We are waiting for an Uber. Yeah. How excited are you guys to go see little Nora? We can't wait to her up and see her. <laughs> so excited. I yeah. just did so much. I can't even tell yeah. how much you guys have been seeing for right? Obviously the cruise is amazing, but it's like Christmas morning getting to see the Yeah, that's cool. And that's really cool. Bonus, our parents were there, you guys. That's so crazy. Well, I mean I wouldn't say that's a bonus, but <laughs> no. I mean with Glenna, yeah, but your dad. Yeah. I mean Oh yeah. you guys we're so excited. I mean you with me on that one? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it was funny. No, we were stoked. My parents I was like, hey, we didn't bring our key fob, so what, can one of you come let us in when we get there? And my dad goes, oh, well, Glenn and I went to breakfast. Nora and Finn are there. Maybe one of them can let you in. <laughs> so Warren's a punk. I love it. So <laughs> Fun. What'd you guys think? Hey Last guys. word for first time cruisers. Spectacular. If Spectacular. You can, do it. Yes. It was so yes. much fun. Why not? Yes. If you can, I'd go with Bryn Jared. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. I do like that idea. Like this. Oh, no. She'll probably take my mama. <laughs> <gasps> Nora. 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 Two. Oh, applause for these two. 
Yeah. Only because little Nora is such a good little girl and Finn's such a good little dog. We had so much fun, huh? How'd you like sleeping with Finn? Uh, all of our wounds have healed up. So we survived. <laughs> they took such good care of Nora and Finn. It was so cute. They just keep going over to both of them. And they're so nice. <laughs> so they've been asking us all about the cruise. They haven't had a chance to see our videos yet. A cruise? Yeah. So wow. we're, we're gonna have to watch the videos tonight on the projector. So yes. hopefully maybe convince you guys to come with us on the next one. Oh, so we cannot wait. <laughs> you guys, they will come on a cruise with us. It's not yeah. safe, right? You guys at some point, they've never been on a cruise? Yeah. Well, I used to cruise the boulevard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they live in Utah, you guys know. So they thought it'd be really fun to go on one when it's cold in Utah. They can get to the yes. warm weather. So yeah. we'll be planning one here coming up soon. But we're going to try and show them all the fun stuff so they kind of know. Yeah. You. Sounds so fun. I can't even imagine seeing it all. It just seems unreal. Really. I know. And you have to go with Rit and Jerry because they're the pros. They oh, know yeah. all like the tips and tricks and how to do yeah, things. Like true. there were lots of things that we didn't know yeah. that are kind of like unspoken or just fun tricks that That's you can do to job. make the most of it. Yeah. Maybe we'll, we we'll pay you later. Cruise, uh, <laughs> travel agent. Ooh, I'd like that. Wow. <laughs> You guys, we're up at the pool right now. I think you two deserve to lay out here all day after a week with a one-year-old. <laughs> well, two one-year-olds. Two one-year-olds, that's right. Finn and Or, my mom was saying how they would fight over the same toy. Two little toddlers. They both wanted the same thing. But they did keep each other happy. Yeah. They so just laugh and chase each other and... So yeah, sweet. Laura loved Finn. Oh my gosh. So sweet. They this is the life. Oh yeah. Now look at her funny. <laughs> <laughs> and you look a little too cute, Miss Glenna. It doesn't even feel hot. <laughs> yeah, we're in the shade up here. There's a nice breeze. This is her view she's looking up at right now. <laughs> Sorry. I wish you were here. But do it soon because we want to meet you. Guys. Yeah, that's right. She's so cute. Nate and Michelle and Nora over there swimming a little bit. Jared's actually taking a little nap right now. He was pretty exhausted. Oh, he's, he? he's been staying up and editing or getting up really early in the morning and editing. So oh, wow. he's taking a little nap right now. He, he does deserve it. We're just out here just enjoying this beautiful day. I'm so happy because it said it was going to rain today, but so far it's been absolutely gorgeous. And yes, you guys, we are going to share a pool chair because we want to. <laughs> now all we need, <laughs> that's right, we deserve it. And now all we need are our pina coladas. Yeah, where are our pina coladas? Can you guys get us Dad? One? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't hear me. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Where's Jared when you need him? That's right, where is Jared when you need him? Oh, but this is so nice. Oh, it's so good to be back with my mom. Oh, it's so good to have Brittany back. The sweetest. The Florida's the awesome, but Brittany makes it. Mom, do you remember what you say when they should, what should they do for each video? Thumbs up? Yeah, it's a thumbs up. Woo! Give this video a thumbs up. Yes. And what? Do you remember the other thing we tell them to do? Um, push the button. Push the button. Push Anything the button down here. To subscribe. <laughs> It's way worth it, you guys. <laughs> way worth it. Yeah, just to be with Brittany and Jared. <laughs> way worth it. <laughs> the one thing my mom said she would do with Nora and Finn for hours is what, mom? Blow bubbles. Bubbles. It was so fun. <laughs> so she said little Finn like would jump so high to try and capture them. Hi. The, Yo, so well, high to go. try and get them and Nora and they would just play out there and laugh. So maybe later we'll try and get little Finn out on the balcony. Oh, you see. guys, it's so worth watching. It's <laughs> so worth it, it's so cute. I thought Nora loved bubbles. Oh, Finn. He loves them. Nora, you are just a little too cute. In that pink I flamingo know, the swimsuit. Pink flamingo.
and about again, baby. So we took a very much needed nap. I slept for like five hours. I actually feel kind of bad about that. Brittany napped for a little bit as well. I think everyone napped, honestly. But now we have gotten a table at our favorite beach house. Booyah! If you guys ever come to Pompano Beach, you have to hit up beach house. It is delicious here. Best of all, Warren and Glenna have not been here yet. Okay, perfect, dude. Thank you. Hey, see you later, guys. Enjoy your dinner. was delicious. We decided to come out to the Pompano Beach Pier real quick yeah, just to catch the sunset. It's one of our favorite yeah. places just to come and walk along. Yeah. Seriously. And we just hopped in. There was a huge crowd Happened of people down there. here. There's tons of people just kind of gathered around this guy right here. You can kind of see him reeling back and forth. Him and his friends are taking turns trying to reel in this massive catch. They actually think it's a shark. But I guess we'll find out what it is. Yeah. They have. Someone said they thought it was a shark. They yeah. No, it's super big. This is getting pretty intense, you guys. They just started over there. They're now just moving the entire crowd this way because he has a massive line. And they've been battling this catch, whatever it is, for at least 30 minutes. So basically what they're doing is uh, they're pulling it back, reeling in the slack, and then just doing that process over and over again. But right now they're worried that if they pull back too much, it's gonna snap the fishing pole. I don't know if you guys can see, it's really hard to see, but it's literally right in front of us. Here it is right here, you guys can see it. I know. He literally had it and the line just snapped. If you want to see more of it over on Instagram, go over and follow us at Jared and Britt. Brittany was a lot closer than I was. Well, the, in the end, the shark won, kind of. Unfortunately, it still has that hook stuck in it. I know, why? That was breaking my heart the entire time I know. was gathering around there. I'm like, this poor shark. I know, it's super sad. Well, I'm glad the whole, I'm actually really glad yeah. that they didn't catch it, I guess. I know, but seriously. I wish they could catch it and then get the thing out Yeah, at least like go. catch and release type thing. But yeah, I don't but think, that, like, how could they do that with a giant shark? No, I don't know. Yeah, uh, definitely snap though. That's uh, that was crazy. That's a, I've never that's seen a lose that. for the shark and for the fisherman. Have you ever seen anything like that? <laughs> Oh yeah, you're in the shade and she's in the sun. It's perfect. In the sun. It's so beach funny. In front of us. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we have a beautiful beach in front of us right now. Speaking of the beach, my dad actually could not wait. He loves the ocean. He's down there right now, just soaking it all in. Oh yeah. Wet and it's completely so yeah. He's soaked from head to toe already. So you guys may be wondering where our name Shell and Nora. So they yeah. left yesterday back to New York. I took them to the airport. But before they left, we actually were able to give my parents some little souvenirs. Oh yeah, so I need to show them. I know, we'll show you guys that right now. As you can tell, Nate and Michelle are getting all packed up. They are heading out today, which is so crazy. We've been with these guys for 10 days. I know, we'll see you guys next month though, I'm sure. Florida and Britt and Jared. Yeah. You guys. <laughs> hey, everyone's been wishing you good luck on your next job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm really excited for it. Yeah, Woo. it starts next week, right? Yeah, next week or after Labor Day. Hot yeah. dog. Yeah. So, yeah. Be awesome. So <laughs> exciting. And we even got Taco Craft. Oh. Yeah, I love Taco Craft. The last <laughs> meal. Tacos, <laughs> <laughs> and Shell's back there. She's getting a little lunch ready for Nora. And then they're going to take off to the airport. But before they go, don't you guys worry. My parents Ooh. are still here a few more days. 
Unfortunately. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> We've got 99.9% .9 of the beauty right here. Oh! <laughs> we'll keep him. We'll keep him. And the other one hundredth of one percent is here. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't. Honestly, hanging out with these two, they're just amazing. I love to give them a hard time, but they're just so much fun to be with. Yeah, speaking of these two, you guys, we have a little souvenir we brought back. So we have not shown them yet because we've just been a little busy. But so you guys sit down, we'll go get them. Ooh. And then we got their little souvenirs. Wait. Can you drive a car in here? Yes, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and right out for Come here, Dora. Here's Jim. Hi, baby. Oh. Look at that. Wow. You get the dust. No, Finn. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Hold them. Oh, you're here. Can you give me some yanani? No, I'm going to make up with pickles. Oh, Is this banana to open with banana? Oh, yeah. A Roomba. Roomba. Oh, wow. Woo. I'm so excited. So my mom collects spoons, you guys. I do. And now you have one for a Roomba. I can't believe it. It goes in my beanbag. <laughs> That's right. If I should hold this, what would you do that dance right. next time? I can show. Or you do it now. I wish I had five dollars for every spoon that she had. <laughs> well, I'd rather have my spoon. So. You're okay. I can retire. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a magnet. You're kidding. That is so pretty. Look at this, you guys. Oh, that's way pretty. Oh, cute little so pretty. Aruba. Aruba. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. That's so nice. Dad, close your eyes. Where are the car keys? Everyone's going to watch. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. Aruba. Aruba. <laughs> you got to unfold it so you can yeah. see the whole thing. <laughs> Want to unfold it? That is so Ooh, cool. Ooh. Uh, wow. Yeah, that does look nice. Oh, I love it. That looks really good. Lots of colors. Says one happy island for one happy guy. Ooh. That's what you're doing. Oh, guys, you're all coming to tune in. I know, sad day. Yeah. 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 We had so much fun. It's not gonna know what to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there goes that. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake, shake. Good job. So we gotta get these guys back to the city. I know. Aww. Back to the airport. Hey guys, this has been the trip of a lifetime for us. Going Woo. to hang out for and Jared and here with Warren and Glenna. It's been so, so much fun. Yeah. It's been a blast. So so We're gonna miss you guys. Yes, these two are the MVPs. Yes, yeah. yeah. Give it up. Yeah. You can say that again. It was so fun. <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> Look at this. 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 So then we took Nate, Michelle, and Nora to the airport and said goodbye to them, which is so crazy. We've been with them the last 10 days. It's weird having them gone, but it's been so fun. Now we're hanging out with my cute parents. We actually kind of didn't vlog a lot of it over the past two days. We've just been relaxing, we've watched movies, we've gone to some fun dinners. Now we're spending their last day here at the beach. I've got my sunglasses. Jared forgot his sunglasses, so he's squinting. <laughs> my mom's getting pulled off with our awesome neck bands. They've been loving those. We've all been swimming out here a little bit, so it's been awesome. <laughs> I was telling her to, when you have a beach, what else do you need? You I know, right? Out. As far as entertainment or... You're you looking know, good too in that swimsuit. You guys how cute is she with her glasses or swimsuit? I think it's my first time seeing you in a swimsuit. <laughs> Probably so, Jerry. I like it. Might be your last. <laughs> <laughs> we promised her she wouldn't get pummeled by the waves. The water's so calm right now. Yeah, it's super calm. I am strong, but you know, the waves sometimes are stronger. <laughs> Jared and my dad have been out here floating. Oh, yeah. 
keep pushing them out further. All right, buddy, see if you can go to the Bahamas. All right, see ya. <laughs> Do we trust Jerry's mom? Oh, I promise it. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, oh, delete what I said before. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my I'm God. Joking. It's awesome. You guys, the water feels like bathtub water. Yeah, it's so nice, huh? Yeah, and pretty, you should get a shot of those clouds because really, you guys, in Florida, the clouds are just like nowhere else. Yeah, I'll show them the clouds. Here's the clouds, everyone. They are really cool. Look at those. Now we're just hanging out. We got pineapple. Cold fresh pineapple. Cold fresh pineapple. This is like a Hyatt Regency on the beach. Yeah, that's right. That's what I told you. Jared and Britt's on the beach. That's right. I think this is the best way to end your trip here. my parents what an absolute beautiful day I'm so happy the water was clear seaweed was good we all survived the floaties out there that was so cute of my mom man it's been so fun creating these special memories here I feel like we have the best conversations out here at the beach just really special memories we're creating with them that I know we'll cherish forever I'm gonna miss them like crazy when they go home but don't you worry we already have another little something something up our sleeve so you'll be seeing them sooner than you think you guys the time is coming my cute parents are leaving we're sad around <laughs> here we're getting some little fin loves last minute huh <laughs> I think <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped, literally jumped into my arms. I think he sees the suitcases out and he thinks I'm leaving. That's the only reason, because he loves Nana, huh? And this was Finn, who was my best friend for a week. I know, you guys, they took <laughs> such good care of him and Nora. But seriously, it's been so fun over the last yeah. few days hanging out with them. Nobody better to be with. That's right. You guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up for my parents. My dad, yes, please. <laughs> we need a thumbs up. <laughs> Maybe they'll invite us back again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but did you have a good last day? Oh, it was awesome. Hey, how can you not with Brittany and Jared in the beach? Are you kidding? Yeah, it was so fun. I mean, it was so fun, you know, with everything they have for the beach. I'm telling you, you get spoiled, yeah. really. It was so, so fun. So it was awesome. We're going to get them finished pack up. They just ate and then we'll get you on your way. Okay, and we'll see you maybe in Utah. Yeah, we'll show you a good Wait, time. Wait, me or them? <laughs> all of you. All of us. Yes. Let's all go to Utah. You're all invited. <laughs> <laughs> Just realized you two are matching in your red shirts. Ooh, yeah. Did you did you guys plan that? I'm sure they did. Gross. <laughs> oh, he coughing. <laughs> and my mom and I are matching in all black because it's a sad day. <laughs> We're in mourning. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my gosh. I'm in bright red because I'm getting away from Jared. <laughs> Why does red have to do with it? It's a Christmas color. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Christmas. It's like it's Christmas. Like a gift from heaven. <laughs> These two. Yeah. So I don't know, funny. you guys. What are you guys gonna do without us? That's what I want to know. Oh, I know. You know, I'm here. I am saying it's gonna be crazy. You know, with just you guys and little Finn. Well, you know. It's just gonna be Warren and I. <laughs> but luckily, there's tons of families still back in Utah. Yes. Lots of little grandkiddos back oh, there, yeah. too. 
But we were just spoiled with a for the long time with just them. It was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Till we, we meet again, exactly. Guys, they are off. We love these guys. And you might see us in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they don't make it. Hey, yeah. Jared's a slow driver, so we gotta hustle. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Sad day. My parents are gone. We seriously <laughs> just love them so much. And it I, seriously is so much fun. I know I give them a really hard time, well, especially Warren, but well, I have so much fun with them both. They, they are just like the kindest, sweetest people in the world. They. I was just thinking that. I was like, you know what? They are just like salt of the earth people. <laughs> like, I'm so blessed to have yeah. such amazing parents. Yeah, seriously. So we loved our time with them, you guys. Seriously. So special, Jared and I were just talking about that. I know we talk about it a lot on our little airport drive homes, but just the memories we're able to create and spend that precious time together. It's just, yeah. it's awesome. I know, I was actually telling Brill, I was just like, you know what? Like it's hard to say goodbye right now, but if we live back in Utah, there's no way you get that same one-on-one -on -one time together. I know, it's so true. So as hard as it is saying goodbye, we're so grateful we were able to get that special time with them. But you guys, we do not have much time whatsoever. No. We have like alone. T minus less than well, like 14 hours until something massive happens. Okay. And it's a surprise to us. We just found out about it last night. But it's gonna be a massive surprise to all well, of you. Well, one of the aspects is a surprise to <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah. Other stuff we've known for a while. Yeah. <laughs> but let's just say it's not gonna be us for a while. We'll kind of give you a few more details yeah. here in a little bit. You may notice yeah. something different. I got a haircut. Drew just got back from getting his haircut. I think it looks good. It looks so good. But you guys, this is so crazy. <laughs> it is just the three of us. It is yeah. been over two weeks since it has just been the three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Way longer than a few days. We were in Puerto Rico with Brett and Maddie. Yeah. We and were they were there for two, for two weeks. weeks, yeah. So we have literally been with family for almost a month. That is crazy. That's nuts. And it's been totally worth it. It's been so fun. Oh, it's been so fun. Yeah. And speaking of fun, you guys, we have what, how many hours? Uh, like less than 12. Less than 12 hours before <laughs> we are with family yet again. <laughs> guys, it's gonna be awesome. If you're not subscribed, definitely come on back. We have constant visitors. Oh my gosh. You guys, we have such a fun packed weekend. It is going to blow your mind. And not yeah. only is it fun packed, it is the definition of fun. Jared's birthday this Sunday. We're so glad you guys enjoyed all of our cruise videos, all the fun we had there. Yeah. Like Jared said, it's not going to stop. We have so much more in store. Yes. So make sure if you're new here, you subscribe and come back tomorrow because yes. you will find out what the big surprise is about tomorrow. And I don't think anyone's going to guess it. No. I don't think There's anyone's no going to guess it at all. Here's the hint. You guys know and love it. That's going to do it for us. We love you. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.